Hey, Danny, can I play Fortnite with my friends? No, Jeffy, we're watching a movie right now. But, Danny, I gotta catch these dubs. Catch these dubs? Is that a disease? No, these W's. What are W's? Because wind starts with a W. I gotta catch these winds, Daddy. Don't worry, Marvin. We're just getting old. All the kids are talking like that nowadays. Baby, I think I know what he's saying. He's saying he wants to win the game. Well, you can win the game later. But my friends won't be on later. Well, that sucks for them. Come on, Marvin. Just let him play one game. But what, I thought we were watching a movie. Come on, Marvin. Marvin, please. Well, okay, Jeffy, you can play one game and then you gotta leave. All right. You hear that, guys? Ready the F up. But I've been ready. Yeah, I was ready the whole time, dude. Well, I'll be ready as soon as Ken gets his butt out of my face. Oh, wait, come back. Okay, fine, I'm ready. All right, where are we landing, guys? You already know the spot. We're going to Tilted Towers. Oh, yeah? We're gonna walk out of there with about nine limbs. Is, is nine limbs good? Gosh, my old fart daddy just asked me if nine eliminations was good. <laughs> what a noob! <laughs> Boomer. Guys, guess who's playing with one hand right now? What, what are you doing with the other hand? Shimmy! I, I don't know what that means. What? Guys, I got a gold gun right off the rip! Oh, dude, I got a shotgun! But Jeffy, what kind of guns you got? Currently looking for one, Junior. Yeah, me too. And currently getting shot at! Well, don't die, we just landed, Jeffy! I'm trying, but I'm lagging, I'm running in place right now! Come on! I'm trying, my ping's at 9,000! I got more ping than a Chinese phone book! What, is, is ping good? I don't know, Marvin. Is, is ping good? But Je Jeffy, you're gonna die! Oh, uh, no! You dick! But Jeffy, do not talk like that! Come Jeffy! Jeffy! Her Spaniel, the dog! Well, Jeffy, stop saying bad words like that. You're only saying that because you're around your friends. Oh, you think it's because of my friends? Well, Daddy, the internet is dick. Well, Jeffy, do not say if you say dick one more time, you're grounded. Well, Daddy, guess what the internet is? What? Dick. Jeffy, stop. That is it. You are grounded. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't going to play anymore anyway because the lag is so bad. Because of this McDonald's internet. We do not have McDonald's internet, Jeffy. McDonald's like five miles away. Well, then move me closer to a McDonald's because then maybe my signal will be better. But well, Jeffy, listen, we have internet here and it's fine. The internet is perfectly fine. No, it's not. Call the internet company and have them fix it. Well, Jeffy, well, then it wouldn't hurt to get better Wi-Fi. You're going to take his side. If he gets better Wi-Fi, he can sit in his room, play his games, and we can be alone. <sighs> I guess you're right if I do have better internet. Okay, well, listen, even though when I, even if I get the internet fixed, you're still grounded, so you can't play on it anyway. Okay, that's fine. It'll be better next time when I'm not grounded. Oh, okay, l l let me call them. Great. Okay, Jeffy, I'm calling the internet company. Thank you. Hello, this is Camille Habib Habab. Camille is in camel. Habib Habab is in corn on the cob. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Uh, yes, my internet is being really slow. No, Daddy, tell him how bad it really is. He needs to know. My son says the internet is dick. Oh, I'm so sorry you're experiencing dick internet. Let me pull up your account and see what I can find out for you. Oh, I see the problem. When I pull up your account associated for the phone number in which you are calling, it shows here that you are currently paying for the lowest internet package. Marvin, what is he saying? He said I'm paying for the lowest internet package. Well, how much for the fastest one? How much for the fastest internet? Well, currently you're paying $2 a month for dick internet. If you'd like to upgrade to the fastest internet, it would be $200 a month. $200 a month? How good would it be? Not dick? It would be not dick for $200 a month internet. I don't know, Marvin. That's a lot of money. Well, let's do it! Let's pay for it! Well, hold on, honey. Is there any way to fix my internet without upgrading it? Like, could you send a guy out here to see if, like, he can unplug it or plug it back in or something? Well, we can try troubleshooting it. I would have to send a technician out and he will have to assess the problem with the internet, but it could work. Oh, okay, yeah. Send out a technician before we do any upgrades. I don't want to spend that kind of money right now. No, I want to upgrade, Daddy! Let's upgrade! Shush, Jeffy! Okay, there. Send the technician. All right, the technician will be there any minute. All right, thank you. Daddy, pass the puff. What? what? The puff that you're puffing to get you this high to think where well, we don't need faster internet. Uh, Jeffy, listen, th listen, they're sending a technician to try to fix our current internet, and before we spend $200 a month, that's a lot of money, Jeffy. Daddy, $200 a month is a small price to pay for me to catch dubs. Jeffy, you can catch dubs on the internet once the technician fixes our current internet. Listen, Jeffy, he'll be here any minute. Well, you're hot. Uh, there he is, right now. The internet's gonna be fixed right now. Just sit right here and be patient. Hello? Hey there, I'm here to fix your crappy internet. Oh, thank God you're here. My son's been complaining about it all day. Oh yeah, kids these days sure do love their internet. I don't understand it. I think kids should just go outside, you know? Throw a football around. Get bit by a snake. Get stung by a wasp. See how long you can stick your hand in an ant pile. Put a jellyfish down your pants, you know? Live! There's a whole world of dangerous animals out there, and you just want to sit inside and play video games? Lame! Y yeah you want to fix the internet? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here's the internet box. Look, all the green lights are on, so why is it so slow? Well, I mean, you do have the cheapest internet. Okay, so can you do something to make it faster? Um, hmm, well, I mean, I guess I could unplug some wires, you know, maybe cut a few. What, cut some wires? Why? Oh, well, you know, you might have some bad wires. I'll just, 
you know, snip those real quick. And well, are you sure you know what you're doing? You're asking me if I know what I'm doing? I work for the internet company. They wouldn't have hired me if I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, okay, I'm just making sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna deal with this and I'll come get you when I'm done. Uh, okay. All right, Jeffy, the technician is working on the internet. Well, he's not doing a very good job because now the internet's out completely. Because he's working on it, Jeffy. That's why it's not working. Uh, hey, so I goofed. How'd you goof? Um, it turns out you're not supposed to cut all the wires. I told you that, but you said the internet company hired me. I know what I'm doing. Hey, listen, man, I watch a lot of movies, okay? You know, and in the movies, the bomb squads, they defuse the bombs by cutting the colored wires. So I was cutting the red one, and I thought it would blow up, but it didn't. The internet just went out. So now I don't have any internet. Well, I mean, it's not that much worse than what you already had. You had dick internet. <laughs> no, I don't have any more internet. Jeffy, calm down. All right, look, look, I want to upgrade my internet. I don't want the most expensive. I want the level above mine. Well, what, what, what's the level above mine? Well, the level above dick would be ass. What? Well, you have dick internet, and then above that would be ass internet. How good is that? I mean, it's ass, and when you're using it, you're not going to go, man, this internet's dick. You're going to go, this is ass. Okay, what's above that? Above that would be shitty internet. What's above that? Above that would be poor internet, and then above that would be McDonald's Wi-Fi internet, and then above that would be Walmart parking lot internet, and then above that would be IHOP Wi-Fi internet, and then above that is your basic internet, and that's where it starts to get usable. How much is basic internet? That's a hundred bucks a month. Oh man, that's expensive. How much is ass? Marvin, just get the basic internet! Uh, baby, a hundred dollars a month is expensive. How much is ass? It's four dollars a month. That sounds like a deal, Jeffy. No, let's get the most expensive one! Jeffy, we can't afford that. Listen, I wish there was a way that we can have fast internet without paying a lot of money, but it's just not an option. Hmm. Okay, listen, man, I'll tell you what. You give me a hundred bucks right now, I will give you your neighbor's Wi-Fi password. He has the best internet, okay? It is God-tier internet. It's the fastest you can get. Will, will, will he know that we're on his internet? Oh, Marvin, no. Marvin, you can't do that. That's illegal. It's stealing. What a baby, shut up. Men are talking. Okay, will he know that we're on his Wi-Fi? No, no way, dude. No, his internet's so fast, 50 people could be using it, and it wouldn't drop at all. Okay, you know what? Here. Here's a hundred bucks. We want his Wi-Fi password. Okay, his password is Haywood Jablomi. Just type that in, Jeffy. What is it again? Haywood Jablomi. Oh, hey, look, it worked! Okay, awesome. Oh, yeah, so, point. so would you? What? Hmm? No, 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 nothing. You you enjoy that neighbor Wi-Fi. Oh, thank you so much. Baby, I'm sorry for yelling at you, but look, I, we just got a deal. We have internet for free now. We're just using the neighbors. Marvin, isn't Jeffy grounded? But, Mommy! Hush your mouth! Zip your hole! Yeah, Jeffy, you are grounded. So, you know, after this game, you gotta get off. But Daddy, I've already got like two eliminations. I got three gold guns. And I'm already at like 500 mounts each. Oh, Jeffy, just let me Sue's at the door. Just, just keep playing your game, I guess. Hello. Hey, hey, are you stealing this guy's internet? Uh, but no. What are you, what are you talking about? I noticed an unauthorized device on my IP broadband connection, and I stream and mine Bitcoin, and I noticed a slowing in my speech. So I want to know who's fucking me. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, what he's trying to say is somebody is using his internet, so somehow, and he wants to press charges. Because that's stealing, and I traced the device back to this address. Well, it's not me, I, I can promise you, I do not have a device connected to your internet. How would I even get the password? Yeah, 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 how would he even get the password? Hmm. I guess I'll have to go back to my house and change my password. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. Oh, man, I'm so sorry about him. That guy is nuts. Can you believe him? He noticed his internet drop by just a little bit. Well, what am I going to do for internet now? Well, I mean, I guess I can go back over there and try to get his new password. Oh, no, he'll notice and he'll come back over here and try to press more charges. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, man. I've done all I can. Well, come on. That's got to be something you can do. Well, I guess all you're going to have to do now is just move closer to a McDonald's. Oh, thanks for nothing. But okay, geez. Oh, mommy, I'm about to get this win. Oh, get this win, daddy. What, what the? Daddy! What's wrong, Jeffy? I got kicked off the internet. I thought you paid. Well, the cops were downstairs with a neighbor. He found out we were stealing his internet, and he changed the password. Marvin, I told you it was a bad idea. We should have just paid for Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi is so expensive. You just wasted $100. We could have put it towards one month of basic internet. Or that would have been half of the good internet. Listen, Jeffy, listen, listen. I promise you'll be able to play games on the internet today. Hey! We don't even have Wi-Fi! Look, I have an idea. Grab your controller, grab your system, follow me. Okay. See, Jeffy, I told you I'd get you Wi-Fi, didn't I? Oh! Oh! I just got a win, boy! Emote on that hoe! Emote on that hoe! Daddy, I'm not MFing good! I, me, Jeffy, MFing Jeffy, just got a win on McDonald's Wi-Fi! I'm not MFing good! Bye! Guys, it's summer vacation! Woo! What are we gonna do all 
summer. Well, it's a nice day outside. Let's go swimming. Oh, hell yeah. Let me get ready. Oh, dude, I can't wait to go swimming. Joseph, can you even swim? Why would you ask a question like that, huh? Huh? Is it because I'm black? Well, I just... I, I... Hey, guys, I'm ready to go swimming. Yes. Check out my summer bod. Whoa, Cody, you're ripped. Yeah, it's because I've been doing an extra 200 sit-ups every morning. It's easy when Ken bends over in front of my face. It gives me something to work for. I wish my body looked like that. Well, take your shirts off. Let me see your abs. But we don't have abs. <laughs> of course not. It's not easy being a brick wall built bitch like I am. So, guys, where are we going to go swimming at? Oh, dude, let's go to the river. Wait, aren't there snakes in the river? Dude, one time I went to the river, and then the leech went out my pee hole, and I peed blood. Yeah, we're not swimming in a river. Does anyone else have a place we can swim at? I wish I had a pool. Oh, I know a guy with a pool. I sneak in it all the time. Are there leeches in his pool? No, it's clean. So let's go swimming in his pool. But what if we get caught? Oh, he's never there, dude. Yeah, let's, let's go swimming at that guy's house. Come on, guys. Okay. All right, guys, the coast is clear. Let's go. Come on, guys, get in the pool. Okay, I'm about to. Man, this pool is so cool. Joseph, do you know who owns it? No, dude, I've never seen the guy. Hey, what are you hot little kids doing in my pool? Ah, it's Mr. Winkle Run! Ah! No, 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 come back. You can use it. Oh, damn, I came on too strong. Uh. What's wrong, Marvin? It's summer vacation, and I know Jeffy's going to annoy me for the next two months. Hmm, what we need is something for Jeffy to do outside to distract him all summer. Like a basketball goal? No, Marvin, like a pool! Baby, pools are expensive. Yeah, Marvin, but do you want Jeffy to annoy you inside or be outside all summer long so we can be alone together for the summer? Hmm, that is a good point. Oh, man, the thought of spending money is making my stomach hurt. Look, you call a pool company and get a quote. I got to use the bathroom. Okay. Hey there, thanks for calling Brooklyn Guys Handyman Services. I can do literally anything, except pay child support. <laughs> That's a little joke in case my ex-wife calls. Y you're not my ex-wife, are you? No, I'm not. Okay, good. So how can I help you? Well, my husband needs you to do something for us. Okay, what is it? He needs you to... Uh, oh, oh, I'm having a blonde moment. I can't think of it. Okay, well, just describe it. It's, uh, we need you to fill a deep, wet hole with liquid. <laughs> oh, okay, it's one of those kind of calls. Wait, and you said your husband wants my help with this? Yes, he wants you to do it. Oh, I get it, he likes to watch, okay. I mean, he will watch if you don't take too long. Oh, believe me, it won't take long at all. Oh, so you're quick? <laughs> I'm a little too quick, I'm Speedy Gonzalez over here. Oh, that's great! Wait, really? Where have you been all my life? Lucky man. Hmm, I'm trying to think of it, it starts with a... P. I can tell you what it is. Oh, no, don't tell me. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Um, yeah, it will. People get in it. Yeah, and I hope to be one of them. People, uh, multiple people at once. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Uh, I like how many people are we talking? Oh, a whole party. A whole party? Oh, my God. This has happened? No, we want it to happen. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I got some buddies. I can invite them over. Yeah, let's do this. I'm still trying to think of it. Um, A snorkel could come in handy. Oh, you bet your ass it will. I'm going to be down there for a while. I'm going to have to breathe. Uh, You need lots of towels. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I will. It can be slippery. Oh, I hope it is. Some people drown in it. Oh, yeah. Why do you think I need the snorkel? Other people use toys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my wife's into that. Honestly, it just makes me feel like less of a man. Some people pee in it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really know how I feel about that. I, I mean, I guess I'll try anything once, but I got a nervous bladder, so... Oh! Oh, it's a pool! It's a swimming pool! I I'm sorry, what? It's a swimming pool. We need you to build us a swimming pool for the summer. Oh, God, I am a sick bastard. Of, co of course it's a pool. You said snorkel. Oh... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be right over. A actually, you know what? It won't be me that comes over. It'll be somebody who, who sounds like me and looks like me. But you can't see me. That doesn't matter. Look, uh, when the guy gets there, just don't even talk about it, okay? Let's forget this happened. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I'll be right... Uh, I mean, he'll be right over. Okay. Hey, Marvin. What? You just wait outside the bathroom? Yeah, I came to get your house payment. Oh, my, my house payment? Uh, I, I don't have it. Shocker. Look, I need to ask your permission for something. Is there any way that I could possibly get a swimming pool? Huh? You can't even afford your house payment. Why would I approve you for a swimming pool? Well, you see, my son would love to swim in it. Yeah, and I would love to swim in your house payment, but I never get it. Well, listen, listen, is there anything I can do? I, I just really want to buy a swimming pool for the house. Hmm. Now, if I let you get a swimming pool and you pay for it, and then when you default on your house payment, then I can come and take your house and sell it for more money. So on second thought, yeah, you can get a pool. Oh, thank you so much. But there are a few rules, so come with me so I can explain them to you. Oh, okay. So what are the rules? You're only allowed to have a small, boring pool in your backyard. The Homeowners Association hates fun. So your pool can only be five feet by five feet, okay? Absolutely no slides. If I see a slide going into your pool, you're done. Well, what about a small slide? No slides, okay? Okay, I got it, no slides. No, there will not be a single slide, okay? Okay. 
Marvin, what took you so long? Goodman was waiting for me outside the bathroom. Oh, what did he want? He wanted our house payment, but he did say we can get a pool. Oh, that's awesome, Marvin. Yeah, did you call the pool company? I did. He seemed really excited. Well, that's good. Hey, I'm not the guy that was on the phone. That guy's weird. Oh, you sound just like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get that a lot, but I'm not him. That guy's a creep, and I'm not him. Did she fill you in on the phone? Well, I was hoping it was going to be the other way around, but yeah, she told me. So you can build a pool? Oh, oh boy, can I build a pool. I, I, I build pools in my sleep, yeah. So when's the last pool you built? Uh, yes, yesterday. Yes, I made a pool yesterday. Can we see a picture of it? No, that that was a, a secret pool for the CIA. It's a CIA secret pool. So have you built other pools in the past? Can we see a picture of those? No, no, I, I've only built secret CIA pools, so I'm, I can't take any pictures. They, they, they actually would have me killed just for talking about it. Whoa, whoa, did you see that bullet, that quiet bullet that just went over? That was them trying to kill me for talking about all their pools. So the CIA just has a bunch of pools? Yeah, yeah, they love their pools almost as much as they love how secret they are. So so we're going to be your first civilian pool? Yeah, my first non-secret pool. That, that'll be cool. I, I'm used to building pools next to aliens and, and, and nukes and stuff. So, okay, anyway, we have, these are things we need. The pool has to be five feet by five feet okay. and no slides. Oh, well, that's easy because I don't even know how to make a slide. Okay, and the pool has to be in the backyard. Okay, oh, oh really? Because I'm used to building pools like in secret underground bunkers, you know, so this will be different. So I'm going to show you my backyard. Come on. Okay. This is the backyard. Oh yeah, this is the perfect place to build a pool. I, I would totally build a pool here if I could. But you said you could. I can, I can build a pool. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Well then start. Um, okay, I guess I'd start by uh, di di dig digging a hole. Yeah, dig a hole. Digging a hole, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So um, just, uh, there you go. Um, I, I, I don't wanna do it while you're watching. I, I can't do it when people are watching. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call somebody who knows how to build a pool. Okay, here's your pool. Jesus, wow, that, that is one hell of a pool. Man, that is that is just outstanding work. I don't know how you people do it. I, I mean, people who make pools. I don't know how people who make pools do it. I, I don't get it, that's mind blowing to me. Okay, can I get paid? Oh, well see, I can't really pay you until the guy that hired me to build this pool pays me. See, I'm lying, and a guy hired me to make a pool, but I don't know how, so I hired you to make the pool, and so now I need that guy to pay me. Okay, it's gonna be $400,000. What, Jesus, 400,000? Well, I, I didn't sign up for that. Hell, I don't even think he signed up for that. Well, if you don't pay me, then I'm gonna kill you and bury you with the shovel. Uh, okay, uh, y yes sir, amigo. Oh, oh man. Okay, I'm done with the pool. Already? He did say he was quick. Well, no, 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 no. That was that was the guy on the phone. I, I didn't say that. I'm not I'm not him. But yes, I don't last long either. So the pool's done? Yeah, come on. But uh, walk backwards. I want it to be a surprise. Uh, okay. All right, turn around. What? Look how big this pool is! What happened to five feet by five feet? No, oh, that's kind of hard to translate into Spanish. What? Uh, nothing! Look at that big slide! A slide? I said no slide! Oh yeah, you did say that, didn't you? Oh, I'm sorry, it must have slipped my mind when I thought about how badass it would be. I mean, look at that! Look at that thing, it's cool, it's fun! I know it's cool and fun, but the Homeowners Association said no slide. <laughs> them. What do they know? What are they allergic to fun? They gotta be like 65. What do they do on the weekend? Croquet? They're too old for fun. Look at these palm trees. They scream youth. All right, listen, the slides gotta go because they're gonna be mad. Okay, well, if they have a problem with it, tell them to come talk to me because I have something long and wet they can suck on. That slide. Okay, listen, the, the slide's gotta go. Okay, man, listen, listen, how about you just pay me and then we'll talk about the slide after. Okay, how much is it, like $20,000? Uh, like $800,000. $800,000? I didn't agree to that! Yeah, well, I didn't either, but look how cool this pool is! I do not have $800,000 to pay for this dumb pool. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to fill it in with dirt. Then fill it in with dirt because I can't pay for it. Okay, listen, man, I got a problem. Um, can I talk to you inside? Why can't we just talk out here? Because I, I don't know if he's listening. Come on. Well, who? In here, in here. Well, what's going on? Okay, look, man, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't build that pool out there. There's no way in hell I could build a pool that that nice. Then who built it? I don't know, some guy I found? Well, let me talk to him. I'll pay him. Oh, see, that's the problem. He wants $800,000. Well, let me talk to him. I'll tell him we don't have that money. Well, see, I told him that, and he said he'd kill me if I didn't pay him. Hola, gringo. Oh, God, please don't cut my head off. You have my 400,000 pesos? What pesos? 400,000? You said it was 800,000. Well, yeah, I was trying to get my cut. Cut for what? Well, for finding him. He made a really nice pool. I was the middleman. That's got to be worth something. How many dollars is 400,000 pesos? About $20,000. Oh, okay, great. So just pay us 40000 and I can still get my cut. Get out of here. Okay. okay, uh, baby, can you grab the plot convenient money that we don't tell you Goodman about? Okay, Marvin. Here you go. Arriba! Muchos gracias. Now we have a pool and it's paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, how did you not know Mr. Winkle owned that pool? Dude, I never see him. Look, there's a sign that says skinny dip in the pool, so I always skinny dip there. Plus, there's cameras pointed towards the pool, but he never comes outside. Because he's probably watching the cameras. That's so gross. Now where are we going to go swimming, guys? We can go swim at a community pool. Ew, no, Junior, that's gross. People pee in public pools. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Hey, guys, when are we going to 
a swimming pool in your backyard. We don't have a swimming pool. What are you talking? <laughs> what? Guys, there's a pool. Guys, guys, there's a swimming pool in the backyard. What, Junior, pools don't just come out of nowhere. Well, that's when Dick and Bottles go. What? We do have a pool now. Oh, dude, it's so sick. What, Junior, how did you just magically get a pool? Maybe Santa Claus brought it. Well, Santa Claus can't bring a pool. Well, yes, he can. He's magic. He can't fit 30,000 gallons of water in a bag. Maybe he has 30,000 bags in his sleigh. Well, his sleigh's not big enough. Maybe he has like a limousine sleigh. Got a new one. Well, Junior, stop it. You're just not in the Christmas spirit, Cody. Well, no, because it's June. You're is my name. <sighs> Alright guys, last one in the pool is a big fat ugly mom and is a cow- <laughs> Cody, you know what? Actually, first person in the pool doesn't like big fat wieners. Uh, well, okay, I can't get in the pool now. That'd be a lie. Oh, right, uh, last one in the pool is a fat mom. Wait. Oh, man, guys. I could float in this pool all day. Oh, gosh, I can't. Yeah, this pool's really nice. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. Wait, why'd you guys get in the pool fully clothed? Because we're not comfortable with our bodies, Cody. Yeah, Cody, we don't have six-pack abs like you. Yeah, I kind of know how you feel. I left my shoes on. Why'd you leave your shoes on? Well, because I have bowling people feet. What's bowling people feet? Well, it's where my toes are all crooked like I've been wearing bowling shoes. Ooh, I like feet. We know. Well, hey, guys, is that a slide? Oh, guys, we should go down it. Ooh, I bet you won't go down it naked. No, but I'll go down it fully clothed. Oh. All right, guys, I'm going to go down the slide. Here I go! Whee! You guys see me? Oh, sorry, Junior. We weren't watching. We were trying to see who could hold their breath the longest. And Jeffy's winning. Yeah, he's had his face underwater for over two minutes. Go, Jeffy, go! Okay, baby. I'm gonna go get Jeffy and show him the new pool. Okay, Marvin. Hey, Marvin. Oh, ask me why I'm pissed. Why are you pissed? Come with me. What the hell is that? Oh, this is my pool. You told me I could get a pool. Yeah, no, I'll address that in a minute. I'm talking about what the hell is that? Oh, th those are twirly stairs. You climb up them. And what's connected to the twirly stairs? A twirly slide. And what did I say about the slide? Well, th doesn't it look cool, though? It's going to look real cool being torn the fuck down. Well, well, don't make me tear it down. Tear it down. What? No, no, listen, 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 the kids are going to love it, and it looks so nice, right? I'll tear it down. Well, don't, don't. Well, no, 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 please, please don't tear it down. I told you no slides. The Homeowners Association does not like fun. Well, well I, t tell them I got something they can suck on. Excuse me? Th they could suck on this big, long, wet slide. I'm going to hit you with this. Oh, okay, listen, look, we'll get rid of the slide, okay? We'll get rid of it. All right, well, let's go inside and talk about how your pool's not five feet by five feet. Uh, okay, yeah, it is. All right, Marvin, pull this. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. That right there is five feet. And if your pool's bigger than five feet, just by an eighth of an inch, I'm gonna bite your areola. Oh, oh okay. All right, the tape measures at five feet. And look, it's the length of the pool, we're good. Let's put it down, shall we? Looks like it's longer than five feet, dickhead. It's a little longer than five feet. Uh-huh, get your bald ass inside, I'm gonna deal with you. Uh, Jeffy, what are you doing in the pool, get out. Mm -mm -mm. Marvin, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You just don't listen. It's like you're five years old. I tell you to build a pool five feet by five feet, and you put an Olympic-sized pool in your backyard. I tell you absolutely no slide, and you put a big McDonald's ball pit slide back there. Well, listen, I, I tried to follow the rules. Tried. Well, try harder next time, Marvin! Oh, okay, listen, look, can I keep the pool? You can keep the pool, but that slide, that slide's gotta go. Oh, you know God. what, bend over. But why? You're getting a spanking. I don't, I don't want to spank, I'm a grown man. I don't care, you've been a bad boy, bend over. Ow, that was my back. I don't care, get over it. But what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna go take a hammer and you're gonna hammer that slide down right now. So I can't keep the slide at all? No slide for you. You can keep the pool, but no slide. Oh, okay. This is a real problem. They really won't let Logan keep that slide. So he's gotta get rid of it. Karen, 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 there's a job listing to be a waiter at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Another job, Boiny? Why don't you just stay home and relax with me? But Karen, the pay on this job's gonna be crazy. How much? Four dollars an hour. Boiny, that's nothing! Yeah, but the meals are crazy expensive, so the tips are gonna be like a thousand dollars each. If I do one table an hour, I get like a thousand dollars an hour. Wow, that's a lot of money, Boiny, but are you sure that's gonna actually happen? Oh, trust me, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna come home with at least $8,000 today. Wow, well, okay, Boiny. Okay, I'm gonna go apply for the job. Good luck! Chef Peepee, when I tried these Mandarin oranges that you prepared for me, my tongue went on a vacation, but the flight got canceled, and they lost my luggage, and on the way home, I got into a car accident and became a paraplegic, and the nurse taking care of me shitting my oatmeal. Now piss off and never cook again!
Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ramsey? What do you want? You're in my kitchen, you bum! Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a bum, sir. I, I'm here about a job. I heard you were hiring waiters. Oh, right. Here. There's your dress. Now, a table just walked in, so piss off! Oh, okay, yes, got it. Pissing off, sir. Hey there, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. My name is Brooklyn, and I'll be your waiter. Ooh, father, father, he just said us so where? Timmy, shut the fuck up. You want me to take you outside and put you across my knee? But he just said hell! You wanna go to the car? No, sir. Timmy, look at me. Look at me. Zip it. Yes, sir. Alright. Sorry about him, he's a little weasel. No, that's okay. I was just gonna ask if you guys wanted something to drink. I'll have your largest bottle of wine. Oh, well in that case, I'd recommend the Cabernet Sauvignon. Great! I'll have two. Okay, two of those. And I'll have the sun kissed on the rocks. <laughs> okay, I can do that. And I'll have a glass of milk. Uh, we don't have any milk, but we do have coffee creamer. He'll take a glass of that. Okay, sure. I want a Capri Sun. Uh, we don't have that either. Aw, man. Just get her a sun kissed on the rocks, too. Okay, two sun kisses. Uh, can I get you guys started with an appetizer? Yeah, we'll take a bloomin' onion and also a baked potato with all the fixings. Okay. And I want cheese fries. Okay. Cheese sticks. Uh, we don't have cheese sticks. You don't have anything that I like. Just get her an order of the macaroni and cheese poppers. Okay. I'll have a side Caesar salad with light dressing. And extra croutons, because you know my fingers are going to find their way over to your plate and take a couple. And extra croutons. Okay, yeah, I can do that too. Aren't you going to write this down? Oh, no, I don't need to. Get it all up here. Amazing. You can remember all that? Yep. Say it back. Oh, well, you guys wanted uh, two sun kissed on the rocks, two bottles of Cabernet, a glass of coffee creamer, a uh, bloomin' onion, a loaded baked potato, cheese fries, mac and cheese poppers, a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Simply amazing! Absolutely brilliant. We got ourselves a little Einstein over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go put all that in and I'll be back to take your order. Uh, actually, we're ready to order now. But you are? You, you sure you don't want me to just run that in real quick? Unless you don't think you can remember it. Oh no, I, I can remember it. It hit me. Ow! You did say hit you. I, I did. I just meant tell me what you want. Alright! I'll take the reins and go first. I'll have the 18 ounce bone-in ribeye. Cooked well done. Butterflied with a little bit of blue cheese crumbles on top with some salt and pepper. Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember a goddamn thing this man is saying. This is the longest order I've ever heard. Why didn't I just write it down? Why did I have to say I had a good memory? Oh my god, he's still talking. Can't you just order like a normal person? Okay, I have to at least pretend I'm listening. Chives, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got all that. Ooh, ooh, I want an eight ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup. Ah, uh, 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 Timmy, you know your mother always orders after the man of the house, the one that does all the yard work? Yes, sir. All right, honey, take it away. Uh, what's on your maple barbecue chicken? Well, ma'am, I would assume maple and barbecue. Oh, no, I do not want that. I'll have the grilled salmon with four coconut shrimp. I want the lemon on the side and clean the rind. Okay, I can do that, too. Uh, would you like to order now? Father, may I please order now? You may. Okay, so I want the 8 ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard on the side. I also want individual sides of lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, ooh, and two pieces of bread. Wait, instead of bread, can I get buns? Would you just like a burger? No, I want it how I ordered it. Okay. I don't see PB and J on here. All right, I'll take the reins on that one too in order for. She'll have the shrimp and chicken fettuccine, whatever the fuck. And make sure you cut up the noodles to about a centimeter size or so so she doesn't choke on it. Okay, yeah, I got that too. You got all that? Oh, yeah, I got all of it, yep. Yeah, I'd ask you to read it back to me, but I'm sure you got it with that big old brain of yours. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, boy, do I have it. I'm gonna go put all of that in. Now that's a man that can listen. I didn't know if I could start. Oh, man, I don't remember a goddamn thing those people just ordered. I mean, I remember the drinks and the appetizers, but I don't know what their actual meal is. Damn it, guy, why did you have to brag about being good at remembering stuff? Wait, what do they want? Uh, they're coming. Yes, Mr. Ramsey? You're gonna give me their order, or you're gonna stand around with your dick in your hand? Oh, no, 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 sir, no dicks in hand. Well, then give me their order! Okay, so they wanted a, 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 a loaded baked potato. Uh, 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 you didn't fucking write it down! Uh, no, I don't need to write it down. I can remember it. Well, clearly you can, because you're over there, uh, 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 black. I'm like an idiot! Give me the order! Okay, uh, they wanted a loaded baked potato, and a bloomin' onion, and cheese fries, and mac and cheese bites, and a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Now, was that so fucking hard? A little bit. Alright, well then piss off and go get them their drinks, and then get me their order! Okay, yes, I will go get them their order. Alright, now piss off! 
Okay, you lovely people, I have your drinks, your two sun kists on the rocks, your coffee creamer, sir. Ma'am, there are your two bottles of Cabernet. Oh, thank you. Now, sir, you ordered the, uh, well, you know, you know what you ordered, we both know. You don't have to say it, unless you want to, that would be fine. Uh, but the chef uh, doesn't believe that you ordered the thing that you wanted the way you wanted it, so maybe if you said it out loud, you might realize you don't actually want that. No, that's exactly what I want. Hmm, well, maybe if you said it out loud, you would hear, like, an ingredient in there that's kind of weird and you might change your mind. You didn't forget, did you? Oh, no, no, me forget? No, I never forget anything. No, no, not me. Now, honey, you know he has an amazing memory. Oh, uh, yeah, we got Megamind as our waiter. Yeah, yeah, that's me, Megamind. But see, the chef, uh, he, he didn't believe me when I told him what you wanted. You know, he, he didn't think somebody would order that the way you ordered it. So, so maybe, maybe if you, uh, you just said that on video, exactly what you told me, and I could show the chef and he'd believe you. No way, Kim Osabi. I don't like being recorded. I don't want Mark Zucker Facebook spying on me. Yeah, of course not. Uh, so, so maybe uh, just your voice, you know, you could just talk and tell the chef what you want to just say, hey, chef, this is what I want, and then tell him exactly what you told me. All right. Hey, chef, this is what I want. I want the 18-ounce bone-in ribeye well-done butterfly so we make sure it's well done with blue cheese crumbles and salt and pepper. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I got one of their orders, but he's a big fan, so he wanted to record it in a video for some reason. No phones in my kitchen! Well, if you just listen to it, you can hear what he wants. No, you go get their full order and you come back here and read it to me. Make sure you write it down. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I will do that, sir. Where the fuck are you going? I was going to go get their orders. There's the appetizers ready. You take them out there to them. Uh, well, well, sir, it's going to take me like four trips. No, you're a waiter. It's your job to carry all the food out there. And if you can't do it with the two hands that you have, I suggest you grow two more hands. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try to... Get the fucking food out of my kitchen now! I'm going. I'm going. Whoa, whoa, careful. Careful. Okay, screw it. They're not getting appetizers. Okay, sir, the chef believes you now, and he started cooking your food. Perfect. And you, ma'am, what you ordered was just incredible. Really inspiring. No one has ever ordered something like that before. Really? Yes, really, and the chef liked it so much he wants to make it a permanent menu item, so just take this pen and then write on the menu exactly what you ordered the way you told me. But it's already on the menu! Not the way you ordered it, it's not, so just write that down because it's special. So, what was your name again, ma'am? Suzanne. Suzanne, we're gonna call it the Suzanne Special, just for you. Honey, you hear that? I'm gonna be famous! Well, that's what we call special treatment. Now you, kid, you ordered a hamburger. No, I didn't. Nah, eh, you kinda did. But I didn't order that. Well, the, the chef said he refused to make what you ordered because I totally remember what that was. And he said he's going to make you a hamburger, so you're getting a hamburger. But I wanted to... You're getting a hamburger. Okay. Now you, girl, you wanted a... PB and j Yes, and you know what, princess? I will make that special just for you. With crunchy peanut butter? You got it. Well, hold on. What about what she actually ordered? Because she can't have all that sugar. Well, you know what? I will make her a special sugar-free peanut butter and jelly. Oh, wow. That's what you call going above and beyond, just like Buzz Lightyear. Yep, that's right. Oh, ma'am, you done with that menu? Yes, here you go. Thank you. We're going to frame this. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. What about the appetizers? Uh, I have bad news about the appetizers. See, uh, this is coming from the chef, because I would never do this to you people. Uh, see, he said that the appetizers were for the lunch menu, and, and this, this is the dinner menu, so you're not getting appetizers. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I get everybody's order written down. Took you long enough! Yeah, I do need to go to Walmart real quick to get the stuff to make a PB&J. PB&J? This is a Michelin star fucking restaurant! We don't serve PB&J here! Yeah, but you see, that, that girl she has an allergy that, uh, and allergic to everything but PB&J allergies, so I need to do that for her. Well, there's fucking gluten, sugar, and peanuts in a PB&J. What the fuck is she not allergic to? Hey, I'm just telling you what she said, so I'll be right back. Well, hurry up! Okay, sir, I got the PB&J in my back pocket. I'm keeping it warm. All right, the food's ready. And let whoever ordered the salmon know that I didn't have any lemons, so I'd use a spare squash that I found. Okay, sure. I mean, you're the chef. I'll just take all this out tonight. Mm, mm mm I got everybody's food. Sir, I got your steak and baked potatoes. I got your hamburger. Aww. I got your PB&J. You didn't cut the crust off? Yeah, well, you didn't tell me to. Aww. Yeah, so eat it. And I got your fish. The lemons have a lot of seeds in them. Yeah, well, that's because the chef actually ran out of lemons, and he had to substitute lemons for squash. Well, did he clean the rind first? Uh, yes, he did. Oh, S good. Sir, what are you doing? You call this well done? It's still mooing at me. It's saying, cook me moo. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry about that, sir, and I would take it back, but you see, Gordon Ramsay refuses to cook anything well done. And where are my blue cheese crumbles? He refused to do that, too. He said they were moldy, and he threw them away. Ah, good call. Okay, so everybody enjoy your food, and let me know if you need anything. Okay, Mr. Ramsay, I gave him their food. <clears throat> 
Okay, I'm gonna go check on it. Hey everybody, how's the food? I see you ate it all. It was disgusting. Disgusting? Yeah, it was too chewy. I'd like you to take it off the bill, please. Oh, sir, I can't do that. You ate it all, even the bone. Yeah, but it was gross. I had to eat it all the way through to make sure it was still disgusting, and it was. And my lemons didn't add much flavor. Well, that's because it was squash. I like my burger. Oh, well, that's good. Can we order dessert? You sure can. All right, honey, I'll take it from here. We'd like to do the creme brulee with extra berries, the cheesecake with a mixed berry compote, a chocolate mousse and a bread pudding with a scuba ice cream, a chocolate cookie, and it's also my birthday, so I'll take whatever free dessert comes with that. Actually, you know what? I just remembered that the kitchen's closed, so I can't give you any of that. Oh, darn. That's a darn shame. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so here's the bill. Uh, who do I give this to? You can give it to the kids. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very good, sir. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this here, and I'll be back. All right, I'll take care of this old dog. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, they ate all of it. <coughs> what, what do the burps mean, Mr. Ramsey? Uh, okay, I, I'm going to go get their bill. Oh, thank God they're finally gone. Oh, but that big tip's gonna be worth it, though. What, what the hell is this? Don't step in front of a moving train? What does that mean? Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. My wife left her necklace on the table. Hey, hey, just real quick. Uh, for the tip, you said don't step in front of a moving train. What's that about? Yeah, pretty good tip, huh? Well, I mean, tips are usually supposed to be money. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't leave cash. We just leave tips as in, like, uh, life advice, you know? Well, I can't really pay my bills with that. Well, you make an hourly wage like everyone else, right? I make $4 an hour. Well, if you don't like how much you get paid, then maybe you should work somewhere else. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck this! <sighs> Boyne, you're home early from work! Yeah, fuck that job. But Boyne, what happened to $8,000? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to it. Here's my one hour of pay I got, that's $4. And here is my tip. Don't step in front of a moving train. <gasps> oh, Boyne, that's a good tip! Yeah, try mailing that to the electric company and see if it keeps the lights on. But Boyne, that was just one table and you quit? Yeah, that was the worst experience of my life. What happened? Well, Gordon Ramsay yelled at me, and then he burped at me, and I think it was supposed to communicate something. Well, Boyne, at least you have a lot of other jobs. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it. Cut up, uh. So, guys, what do you want to do today? You guys want to squat up in Fortnite? Yeah, dude, let's run some trios. Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. But first, I have to call my girlfriend and tell her good morning. What? What's next? You got to go to her house and wipe her ass? No, guys, she gets mad if I don't call her. Just shut up. Good morning, Cuddle Bear. Good morning, Snuggle Bunny. Ugh. Dude. Do you miss me, Pookie Bear? Of course I miss you, my honey bun, sugar plum, pumpy yumpy yumpkin. <laughs> <coughs> Junior, have some self-respect. Come on, Pumpy Umpy Umpy, nigga's not even Halloween yet. Hey, shut up, guys. Do you miss me? Sure I do, my cupcake gumdrop. <gasps> you missed the Snuggums Boogums part. Hell nah, not a Snuggums Boogums. Oh no, he's dead, he's gone. Somebody write an obituary. All right, the obituary. Rest in peace, Junior. He went out like a bitch. Well, guys, shut up. Who's all there? It's just Joseph and Cody. Prove it. Send a selfie. Guys, can we send a selfie to Penelope? But I'm naked. <gasps> Do you want to see my ass? Who is that? It's just Joseph pretending to be a girl. No, it's Sabrina with the fat ass and the super soaker. Oh, come on. Let's have a quickie real quick, Junior. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Penelope, it's just us. Oh, okay, good. So what are you doing today? I'm going to my friend's birthday party today. Oh, okay, have fun. There's not going to be any guys there, is there? Yes, but it's just her brother. Do you think the brother's hot? No, Junior. I'm pretty sure he's gay. Do you have his number? No, Junior. I got to go. Bye. Okay, don't, 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 don't talk to him. <sighs> guys, there's a problem. Yes, yeah, a problem. You're missing your balls and we can't find them. Cody, can you see him? Oh, I'm, I'm looking everywhere. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, man. We'll never find your balls. You'll never get them back. No, guys, it's seriously a problem. She's going to this birthday party and there's going to be a guy there. Do you think she likes him? Oh, he's already there. He was clapping her cheeks and you interrupted her with the phone call. What, really? Yeah, now it's time for round two. Fight. Uh, 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 I don't think Penelope's that kind of girl. Oh. Yes, she is. Finish her. Uh, uh, oh, no, guys, yo. Cody, 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 if I take you to the party, can you tell me if the guy's gay or not? If he's gay, I'll be able to tell. There's a test. Okay, uh, guys, will you go to the party with me? No, dude, I don't want to see you get your heart broken. I'm going to just chill here and play your games. Oh, come on, Cody, we have to go to the party now. Okay. All right, ladies, gather around before we light the candles on Susie's birthday salad. Why doesn't she have a birthday cake? Because birthday cake rots your teeth, and beautiful ladies have beautiful teeth. And boys, mother. Yes, Timmy. Timmy, what? you do us the honors of singing happy birthday for Susie. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susie. Happy birthday to you. Listen, 
I know that it's Susie's special day, but I just want to say that I think every single one of you are princesses. <laughs> He's so fucking sweet. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ladies, ladies, calm down. I'm going to light the candles. Okay, Cody, this is where the birthday party's happening. Are we invited? No, we're gonna crash this party. Well, that seems rude. No, shut up, Cody. We have to go in there and see if the guy's gay. So we're gonna bust in on the count of 15. One, Wait, why two, 15? Just 15. One, two, three. All right, Susie, blow out your candles. But there's no fire. Yeah, the candles aren't lit. That's because fire is dangerous. So just pretend, make a wish, blow out your candles. I wish there was more boys at my party. Me too. <laughs> 14, 15. Ugh. We're here, everybody. I'm so sorry, everyone. I thought we were invited. Where's Penelope? Oh, my God, boys. My dream came true. Yes. Junior, what are you doing here? We just want to check out the party. Make sure there's a party going on. Junior, you weren't invited. That's okay. He can stay. See, look, she said we can stay. I'm going to go wash some dishes. So where's this gay brother of yours? Oh, my brother. Over here. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Timmy. You flirting with him? What? No, Junior. Oh, my God. But he has the most beautiful voice ever. Oh, my God. Stop. You're beautiful. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, hell no. That's it, Timmy. I didn't talk to you in private. Okay, Junior. Yeah, come here. Junior! Oh, my God. Am I glad you guys showed up? It was a total clam fest in there. I was like, oh, my God. When are more sausages going to arrive? Junior, my gaydar is going off. What's a gaydar? I'm detecting high levels of gayness from him. So, do you guys want to maybe go outside and play some football or something? Hmm. That was kind of straight. Is it tackle or flag football? Oh, oh. tackle all the way. Well, that's kind of gay. Well, don't you have a gay test for him? Yeah, I do. Hey, Timmy. I got this four foot long hot dog for you. Ooh, what a big glizzy. You know what they call me, right? The glizzy goblin. What do they call you that? Oh, just watch. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> I love you. I, I just... I love you. So, do you maybe want to go in the closet and play seven seconds in heaven? If I can last seven seconds, come out. Wait, Cody, is he gay or not? Happy birthday, Susie. Thank you. Hey, Penelope, I just asked Timmy if you and him made out, and he said yes. No, he didn't, Junior. That's a lie. You're right. I just wanted to see if you'd admit to it. Ugh. Hey, Penelope, will you grab a board game from the closet? Okay. I'm to the party. So you like salad, huh? See, I like salad very much. Well, what if I tossed your salad? Why would you toss the salad? That would make a very big maze. Well, maybe I'm a messy boy. How about you take my phone and add your number and we can talk sometime? Okay. Yeah, that'll get back at Penelope for talking to Timmy. Okay, here your phone is. Thank you so much. Hey, can you add your number too? Oh, you're sweet as fuck. Uh-huh. Uh, hello? What do you need? I need hungry, hungry hippos. He's busy. What? Uh, oh, you mean the board game? Hold on. Here, here you go. Thank you. Okay, now leave us alone. All right, guys, I got hungry, hungry hippos. I think everybody left the party. Yeah, it's probably because there was no cake. Yeah, this party was super lame. Oh, Junior, you do not have to worry about him at all. You are good. Wait, he's gay? <laughs> yeah, I'd say he's pretty gay. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I'm straight. Sure you are, buddy. Hey, Penelope, you want to come to my house and hang out? Yeah, I guess. Wait, what's with the attitude? Junior, you've been mean to me all night, and then you showed up to a birthday party you weren't invited to and embarrassed me in front of all of my friends. I just heard there was a guy here and I wanted to see if you'd cheat on me. Ugh, Junior! Well, just come over to my house we can hang out. Fine. Can I go? Um, I'll call you. Okay. Hey, Joseph, Penelope came over. Wait, what? You still with her? I just got her back rolling out of the party, dude. What? He's just being a silly goose. Oh, I'm a silly fucking goose. <laughs> I'm a silly goose, but you don't want pussy whip, dude. Uh, uh, Penelope, what, what do you want to do? Um, I guess we could watch TikToks on your phone. My phone? Uh, oh, I'm about to sneeze. Uh, uh, give me a tissue. What? Uh, give me a tissue, please. Booger's going to go everywhere. Okay, ew. <sighs> Junior, what the hell is that about? I had to delete the text off my phone. Who's texting you? I got a bunch of girls' numbers at the party. Ooh, you play a maid ass nigga. Thank you. What, Junior, that's cheating. It's not cheating, Cody. I can go shoe shopping while wearing my current pair of shoes. Junior, that's wrong. No, it's not, Cody. Listen, it's so much easier to flirt with girls when you have a girlfriend. Because if they insult you or say no, you're not going to feel bad. Because you can just fall back on your girlfriend. Yeah. It's like a parachute. Penelope is my parachute. I'm not going to die. <sighs> oh, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Hey, Junior, I got a paper towel because I couldn't find a tissue. A paper towel? You want me to cut my nose with that? rough thing and bleed out the death. Give me an actual tissue. Okay, fine. 
I forgot to delete one more text. Junior. Oh, wait, I, look, I, this is just payback for her talking to Timmy. Timmy's gay. What if he's faking it? If that was an act, he deserves an Oscar. Oh, she's coming back, she's coming back. All right, Junior, here's your toilet paper. Toilet paper? That goes on your butt, not your nose. You asked for it. I wanted tissues. You know what? Fine, I'll use it. Okay, good. Can I see your phone so I can watch TikToks now? I think you should just leave. You know what? Fine, I think I will. Yeah, you're being rude. Just get out of here. Hey, Cody, you saw that? I think my boy found his balls. Where were they? We were looking everywhere for them. Yeah, I thought we'd never find them. Yes, you're just trying to go through my phone and being annoying, and I just don't want her here right now. I got other girls to talk to, you know? Man, I'm glad to have my boy back. Yeah. You guys think Penelope would ever cheat on me? God, he's gone again. Well, no, no, she just went to that party today, and I thought she was going to talk to that guy, and... I don't know, I just didn't like how she was going to talk to another guy, and I, I didn't like that. So I think I should hire a guy to see if she'd cheat on me. Junior, that's crazy. No, it's not crazy. I just want to see if she would do it, and I know just the guy to call. P.J. Crenshaw. Para Jammy's Crenshaw? Jammy Jam's Crenshaw? Preserve Jam's Crenshaw. Hey there, someone call P.J.? Oh my god, it's P.J. Crenshaw! Can I smell you? Please, please! No. Oh, man. Well, thanks for answering, though. Well, Mr. P.J., your highness. Yeah. Your royalty. Yes. I'm so honored to be in your presence. Thank you. May I ask you a question? I'll allow it. Thank you, sir. So, uh, first off, I have a girlfriend. Oh, congratulations, little buddy. Is it your first time? Yes, sir. It's my first time. That's cute. And I was wondering if I could hire you to see if she'd cheat on me. Oh, I don't think you want the answer, bro. Just put on some Juice World and let your mind wander. Talk that shit, PJ. No, I, I really do want to know if she'll cheat on me. I think there's some things you're better off not knowing. You know, there's always a bigger fish out there. Anything you can offer her, there's somebody else that can offer her ten times more. Preach. Preach. Yeah, yeah, she's not yours. It's just your turn. Mm -mm -mm, that's what I'm talking about. Well, look, I still would like you to try and see if she would cheat on me. I don't think you can afford me, little buddy. Well, what's the price? Hmm, two cups of Play-Doh. Two cups? Yeah. Well, well, what color? I think you know. Primary colors? Yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Junior, if you want the man's services, you gotta pay. Yeah, you know it costs to be a boss, dude. <sighs> Um... Are we doing this or am I going home? Okay, fine. Let me get the Play-Doh. All right, PJ, there's your Play-Doh. This shit better not be stale. It's not. Bruh! Bruh! What? It's stale, and it's also half empty. How am I supposed to make spaghetti with this? Come on, dude, that's PJ Crenshaw. You can't chip PJ Crenshaw. Well, it's just all the yellow that I have. Yeah, the no deal. <laughs> Guess you'll never find out if your girl's faithful. No, PJ, please! See if she'll cheat on me! <laughs> Junior, it was crazy what you were trying to do anyway. I just wanted to see if Penelope would be faithful to me. Ooh, maybe I can make a fake Instagram page and put hot pictures of guys on there and see if she'll reply to the messages. Yeah, and while you do that, I think... I think I'm gonna go back over to that kid's closet, so uh, don't check on me. So guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude! Cry! <laughs> Why are you guys so sad? Because Tom Brady lost to the Dallas Cowboys. More like cowgirls! <laughs> I hate them! Junior, don't you like the Cowboys too? No, I've never liked the Cowboys. Why do you have this Cowboys wallet? <gasps> uh, my grandma got it for me. I grew up a Cowboys fan. Listen! I'm just sad that Tom Brady lost to him. Yeah, he went out sad, dude. Blown the hell out. Yeah, bent over. What, Tom Brady got bent over? I, I didn't hear about that. When did that happen? We're just sad that he lost, Cody. Well, do you think he's going to retire? <sighs> yeah, probably. I know. We'll never see him play again. Well, I mean, he is 45 years old, so that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> was eliminated from the playoffs two days ago, and now he's holding a press conference to announce his retirement. Oh, I'm not retiring. But you're not retiring? No, no, I'm gonna keep playing football till I'm 60 years old. Well, what team are you gonna play for? Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna keep playing football until I win 30 Super Bowls. Yay, look guys, he's gonna keep playing football. Damn it! Fuck! Well, I thought you guys would be happy. No, Cody, we wanted him to retire. Yeah, dude, this is too agonizing. You guys were literally just sad that he was gonna stop playing. Obviously, we're sad that he lost to the Cowboys, Cody, but that doesn't mean we want him to keep playing football. Yeah, he's super old, dude. He could die at any moment. What was he gonna do, wait till he's 60 years old and then die? on the field that his kids have to grow up without a dad. He already lost his wife, Cody. He should retire and spend time with his kids. Well, maybe he just loves playing football. No, no, no. He doesn't love playing football. No man loves 300-pound men grabbing on you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say no man. Look, he's clearly unhappy, Cody. He looks pretty happy to me, and he has millions of dollars. No, no, no. He has a mental problem. Look, there's something wrong with his brain. He has, like, a curse on him that'll make him not stop playing football, and we need to help him retire. Yeah, dude, what are we gonna do? Yeah, how are you gonna help him retire? 
Well, we could break both his legs. What? Oh, I was thinking the same thing, dude. Listen, Cody, when a football player breaks his leg, his career's usually over. So if we break both of Tom Brady's legs, he's gonna have to retire. But guys, I don't condone any of it. Now listen, listen, Cody, look, he's gonna be laying in a hospital bed with both his legs snapped in half, and his kids are gonna be like, you done, daddy? And he's like, oh, I'm done, kids. And like, yay, daddy! And they're gonna run off in the sunset, and he's gonna thank us later, Cody. Okay, well, how are you gonna break his legs? Hmm. I got a bat. Ooh, a bat. Hmm. Okay, maybe I asked the wrong question. How are you gonna get Tom Brady over here so you can break his legs? Hmm. We gotta, like, lure him in with something that he likes. Yeah. He likes football. No, he oh doesn't. Oh, God, he doesn't listen. He's under a curse, Cody. He doesn't like football. Um, Cody, go on his Instagram and see if he posts anything on his story that he might like. Okay. Okay, I'm on his Instagram story. What'd he post? Hmm. Well, he has a picture of his dog on his crotch, and it says, Always looking for meat. That caption is crazy. Always looking for meat is crazy. Well, like, he just likes his dog. I mean, yeah, but always looking for meat, like, that's just crazy. Come on, dude. You know Brady got that thing on him? Yeah, I mean, I guess. That just seems crazy. Uh, let's see. Lua loving her boy toy? What the hell? What? Is he calling himself a boy toy? He just likes his dog, Cody. I guess. Uh, who's a good boy? Junior, this is crazy. And like, he just likes dogs, so I got an idea. We go to the shelter, we adopt the dog, we put it on Instagram, he'll come over and want to pet it. Well, a lot of people have dogs. That doesn't mean Tom Brady just shows up at their house. No, look, we'll tell him that the dog's looking for meat. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that could work. All right, so let's go to the shelter and adopt the dog. Okay. All right, guys, we got a dog. Junior, I can't believe we adopted a dog just so you can break Tom Brady's legs. <laughs> We're helping Tom Brady, Cody. Dude, what are we going to name it? Uh, Puffball Jenkins. Ooh, I like the name. Sophisticated. Wait, why is it sniffing and licking me? Oh, you know it's licking for me, dude. Oh, yeah, the post. Okay, um, uh, Joseph, grab my phone. Okay. All right, Cody, hold him down. Okay. Um... Take it, Joseph. Okay, dude, I got you. Oh, dude, this is a sweet pick. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's like, it's just like Tom Brady's post. Oh, yeah. Guys, this feels wrong. No, Tom Brady did that post. We're just trying to get his attention. Joseph, post it on my story. Oh, I got you, bro. Tom Brady will be here any minute. <gasps> that's Tom Brady! No way. Tom Brady? Huh, I wish I was Tom Brady. No, I sprained my pinky in high school, so I never went pro. But if I didn't sprain my pinky, I'd be ten times better than Tom Brady. Oh, by the way, did you post this on Instagram? Oh, yeah, I posted that. Yeah, okay, well, that is crazy. I mean, that picture with that caption, always looking for me, that is just insane, man. Well, I was just trying to get Tom Brady's attention. No, no, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to check on that dog to see if it's okay. Well, no, the dog is okay. Mmm, I'm gonna have to come check. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich real quick. I took my shirt off because I don't want it to get dirty with all the peanut butter and jelly. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're a dog. Uh, hold on. Let me just get a glob of peanut butter. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ow! 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 Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ow! 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 Oh, what's going on here? Get this dog off of me! Oh, get off, Puffball Jenkins! What the hell is going on in here? I was just trying to get a PBJ. What? A peanut butter BJ? Kid, what is wrong with you? You are sick! No, no, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, then why is there peanut butter on your wang? Well, I don't know. That's where the spoon fell. Oh, yeah, very coincidental. Oh, no, officer, officer, listen. The dog is always looking for meat, not peanut butter. Okay, I think I need to take this dog away from you. No, 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 no. We need this dog to break Tom Brady's legs. Wait, what? I don't know what you kids are talking about, but this dog is not safe here. Come on, Puffball Jenkins. Let's get you to a safe home. <laughs> They took our dog, Cody! What's up, dude? Where were you at, Joseph? I was a Sonic, n***a! Oh, that sounds way better than the peanut butter and jelly sandwich I was gonna make. Wait, why do you have peanut butter on your crotch, dude? Oh, I tried to make a PB&J and then a dog attacked me. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go clean myself up. Oh, dude, where is the dog? Oh, the cops came and took him. Wait, the cops came? Oh, man, thank God I wasn't here, because I have a warrant. I would've started shooting. <laughs> Someone would've died. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Oh, my bad, dude. Oh, yeah, say, say bless you. Uh, well, wait, bless you. Oh, wait, that's for sneezes. Yeah, wait, wait, what's wrong with you? Anyway, Cody, you put on a new shirt. Uh, yeah, so? But your shirt's right here. Uh. <laughs> uh, what happened? I don't know, you guys just fell asleep. Oh, dude, I got a headache. I can't remember anything. Good. Well, since the dog thing didn't work out, how are you guys going to get Tom Brady over here? Oh, yeah, we still got to get Tom Brady's attention. Um, what else does Tom Brady like? Football? No, he doesn't like football, Cody. Yes, he does, Junior. Dude, he might be right this time. <sighs> okay, Cody, since Tom Brady likes football, how are we going to get his attention with that? Well, Tom Brady still wants to play, right? So maybe if we made, like, a highlight reel of showing how good Joseph is at catching footballs, that would get Tom Brady's attention, and he'd come over to sign him. Dude, I always wanted to be a celebrity. Oh, dude, let's do it. Okay, well, I mean, that actually might work. All right, so let's grab a camera, let's grab a football, and Joseph, catch some footballs. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude.
All right, Cody, make sure to get the really good angles of Joseph making these catches. Oh, don't worry, Junior. Me and my boyfriend have had a lot of practice with the camera. We should start an OnlyFans. All right, Joseph, go on. All right, dude. I'm open, I'm open, dude. Eat breast, get out of my kitchen. I'm trying to make scorching hot Pringles. Oh, this shot's going to be hot. Uh, uh. Yeah. Ah! Cody, why did you have to get in my way? I would have definitely made it to ESPN. Catching a ball over the fire? Dang! Yeah, why'd you have to get in his way, Cody? Junior, that was a shit throw and you know it. Well, the doctor's on his way. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor. I have this sore in my mouth. It's like on the side and it burns. I play with it with my tongue, but I don't like it. No, oh, that's okay. It's just a cold sore. It'll go away in a few days. All right, thank you. All right, if that's all you needed. Uh, excuse me? Uh, oh my God, kid, you are burned to a crisp. What happened? My friend sucks at throwing. No, you suck at being a cameraman. Listen, doctor. We were trying to make a highlight reel for Tom Brady because we wanted him to try to sign my friend, right? And so we were trying to throw the football over the fire, and Cody got in the way and fell into the fire. Oh, man. Kids playing with fire is really dangerous. Somebody could have gotten seriously hurt. Uh, excuse me? Oh, right. Yeah, you did get seriously hurt. Well, this is why you don't do that kind of thing. Huh. I feel like I should say something else. Um, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No, that's not it. Uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I'm afraid of apples. iPhone. Ah! iPad. Ah! iPod. Ah! Oh, well, yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, apples, see. Okay, well, uh, if that's all you need... Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, kid. I'll give you a full body cast for your burns. Yes, please, I'm in so much pain. <sighs> you feeling better, Cody? A little bit. Well, kid, since you have burns on 98% of your body, I guess that makes you eligible for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So what do you want to wish for? You can meet anybody, you do pretty much anything. Um... Oh, Cody, 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 ask to meet Tom Brady, and then we can break his legs. Junior, that seems wrong. Do it, Cody. <sighs> I want to meet Tom Brady. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, I can get Tom Brady over here. Uh, wait a minute, don't you have a warrant? Ah! I'm out of here, dude! I'll get you, kid! <sighs> okay, yeah, I'll go get Tom Brady over here. Oh, good going, Cody. Hey there, I'm Tom Brady. I heard there was a sick kid here who wanted to meet me. Uh, yeah, Tom, I did. Hey, how about I give you a smooch? Mwah. Well, that was just a peck. Let's go in for another. Mwah. There you go, do you feel better? Uh, yeah. Hey, Tom. Hey, I'm Tom Brady. What are you doing with that hammer? Ow, 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 my legs, my precious legs. Ow, you broke both my legs. I'm sorry, Tom, it was for your own good. Doctor, come in here. Well, Tom, you broke both your legs and that kid did it, but you're not pressing charges, so I'm gonna go. Tom, why are you not pressing charges? Well, because it's not his fault. Well, yeah, it is. He broke your legs on purpose. Are you gonna retire now, Tom? No, of course not. Imagine winning a Super Bowl while in a wheelchair. I'll be the Super Goat, the first NFL player to win a Super Bowl while in a wheelchair. So you don't want to retire? Nope. You don't want to spend time with your kids? No, that's lame. You know what isn't lame? Super Bowls. You don't want to, like, enjoy life? Super Bowls is life. You don't want to, like, spend time on the beach with your millions of dollars? No, not unless there's a Super Bowl on the beach. Oh, that'd be cool. There should be a Super Bowl underwater, on the moon! Um, okay. Always follow your dreams, kids! <sighs> well, Junior, you didn't get Tom Brady to retire. I guess there's nothing that'll make him retire. Yeah. Always looking for meat, though, is crazy, right? Like, that's a crazy caption. We can all agree that's crazy. Oh, man, Joseph, I can't wait to fly my Mega Glide Star. I know, dude. It has a 19-inch wingspan. You know this is going far. It's going to fly for miles. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, you're looking at the smartest kid in the country. You mean the biggest nerd in the country? Woo, flame him, bro. No, because the governor of Florida just sent me this letter telling me how smart I am because I got a 36 on my ACT test. You got a 36 out of 100? Dude, that's failing. Your ass. You got an F, Cody. He probably said you this letter to make fun of you. Yeah. No, it's 36 out of 36. That's not how tests work, Cody. It's 36 out of 100. You got an F and you failed. Yeah, you didn't try, dude. What, no, because I also got a 1600 on my SAT test. <laughs> now you're just making up numbers, Cody. That's not how they grade, dude. Hey, Joseph, I got a 2 billion on my test. Oh, that's so good, but maybe next time you'll get 3 billion. <laughs> But no, because they sent me this letter saying that I was smart and they're going to have a special celebration for me where they're going to give me a medal. What? They're not going to give you a medal. They're probably going to give you a you tried medal because yeah. you got a 36 F on your test. But no, guys, it's going to be a whole ceremony and everything. There's going to be a buffet and I can invite whoever I want. Dude, a buffet? 
buffet? Oh, we can eat whatever we want? Oh, I could eat for days. Okay, Cody, we'll go to your stupid, dumb nerd event. Yeah. Wait, wait you, you guys aren't invited. What, what? We're not invited? No, I mean, I'm taking Ken. Oh, he just wants it to be him and Ken. Oh, one of those date things, I guess. Well, I am also inviting Penelope. Wait, what? Wait. Penelope? Why Penelope? Well, I don't know. We're friends. She's cool. What? You've only known her for like a year. You've known me and Joseph for like 10 years. Yeah. Well, I don't know. She's nice. I don't know. But you don't even know who she is. Why is she going to go to your stupid event? We, we want to go. Yeah. I, I don't know, guys. She's just cool. I want to bring her. So you're going to take Ken and Penelope? Well, yeah, and Patrick. Patrick? Patrick? Come on. Why Patrick? Well, when's the last video he's even been in? Why Patrick? You don't even talk to Patrick. Well, just because you don't see me talk to Patrick doesn't mean I don't talk to Patrick. When's the last time you talked to Patrick? Like three days ago on the phone. Show me your call history. Show me you talked to Patrick. Uh, okay, I don't really talk to Patrick that much, but he's cool. I like Patrick. So you're gonna you're gonna take Penelope and Patrick and Ken, but not your two best buds? Come on, we sit on the couch together. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather take them. Wait, are you gonna take your parents? Well, no, definitely not. They're gonna cause a scene. Well, well you're gonna, you won't, you're not gonna take your parents. That doesn't make sense, dude. Yeah, so you're gonna take Penelope, who you don't even really know. You're gonna take Patrick, who you don't really even talk to, and you're gonna leave behind your two best buds and your parents. What? Well, sorry, guys, you're just not invited. What? You're so stupid, Cody. You know how much stuff we do for you? I point out how many pimples you have on your face so that you can get them treated. And, and that you're a nurse so we can humble you. Yeah, and also, we tell you how fat your mom is so she can go on a diet. Mm -hmm. I, I only tell you your mom is fat because I, I'm worried about her health, Cody. I, I don't want her to die. We care. See, guys, this is exactly why you're not invited. I only really came to show you guys how smart I am. I have to go get ready for my ceremony. It's tonight. What? Joseph, can you believe that? Can you believe what Cody's doing? I know, dude. I really wanted to go to that buffet, but let's fly this plane instead. I don't want to fly that stupid plane. I want to go to the event. But we're not invited, dude. But why isn't Cody inviting us? It doesn't make any sense. We've been his best friend for years. Wait a minute. I figured it out. What? Is it because we're black? That's one of the reasons. Yeah, I knew it. But I, he's only inviting people whose names start with a P. What? Think about it. Think about it. The two people he invited is Penelope okay. and Patrick. Okay, but what about Ken? Ken's not a real person. Ah, I see. So he's only inviting people whose names start with a P. Because he hates people whose names start with a J. <gasps> He's a Jason! He's a Jason! He's racist and people's names start with a J because I'm Junior and you're Joseph. Dang it. So we gotta change our names to start with a P. How are we gonna do that though? We're gonna go to the courthouse. Okay, let's go! Okay, we just changed our names. My new name is officially Poonier. And I am Posive. And I told Cody to come over to see if he invites us. Oh yeah, he better let us in this time. Guys, what do you want? I was getting ready for my ceremony. I gotta go. Hey, Cody, look at my new bib. But PR, what did you get a job in public relations? No. Are you supporting Puerto Rico? It's not that either. Okay, then what is it? Me and Joseph changed our names. But what did you change your names to? I am Punya. And I am Poshif. What? Those are the stupidest names I've ever heard. Well, can Punya and Poshif come to your event? No. What? I thought you were going to invite us because our names start with P now. Yeah. What? Why would I do that? Because you're Jacist. What, what the hell is a Jacist? You're racist to people whose names start with J. What, what are you talking about? Look, you invited Penelope and you invited Patrick. Mm -hmm. So we changed our names to start with a P because you were only inviting people with P's. That's not why I didn't invite you guys. Then why did you invite us? I, I don't know. I just didn't want to. You don't want us to go. No, I don't. Well, what if we show up anyway? Well, then I'm going to have security escort you out because you're not invited. You just don't want us there. Yes, exactly. I don't. So I'm going to go finish getting ready for my ceremony. Leave me alone. Oh, Cody, I hate you. Dude, that's so Jason's of him. Yeah, he's Jason's and he's Paces now. Ooh. Oh, I got to figure out what this is. You know what? I'm going to call Patrick over and maybe Patrick can tell us what's really going on. Yeah, he better. Hey, guys! I lost my shoes. I probably need them for Cody's ceremony. I don't want to go barefoot. Unless I'm Tarzan. Tarzan's cool. But then I have to take my shirt off. Tarzan was raised by monkeys. Did you know that? I think I was raised by monkeys because I'm pretty good at climbing and I like bananas. All right, listen, Patrick. We want to find out Is that a Mega Glide Star? Yeah, dude. And it has a 19-inch wingspan. And it has dual flight modes, high durability phone, and it's easy to assemble. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can read that from way back there? Yeah, I have contact lenses. They're like these little stickers that you put in your eye to make your eyes see better. At least that's what my mommy says. Except sometimes I forget to take them out, and then they go behind my eyeball, and the doctor has to pop my eye out of its socket to get it back out. All right, Patrick, you can leave. Okay! Dude, why did you make him leave? Because I just figured out why Cody didn't invite us. What? What? Why? Because we don't wear glasses. Wait, wait. That doesn't make sense, dude. No, think about it. Cody wears glasses. Penelope wears glasses. Patrick doesn't wear glasses, dude. He wears contacts. <gasps> mm-hmm. Cody is a bad visionist. He is racist to people with bad vision. He knows my left eye is not that good. Mine too, dude! So if we wear glasses, then he'll think that we're like him and he'll invite us. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Posif, we now have perfect vision because of our glasses. You're right, Poonier, we look so sophisticated. I called Cody and said, come over really quick. Guys, what do you want? My ceremony starts in 30 minutes. I don't have time to keep coming over here. 
What is this? Me and Posev now have glasses. Okay, great, and? So, do you like them? Well, did you guys even need glasses? I mean, our vision wasn't perfect before, but now it is. Don't you like wearing glasses? No, I only wear these because I have to. Oh, well, you know, me and Posev will be able to see you better get your award with these glasses. You guys are still not invited. But what? We're not invited still? But No, it's the glasses. You're only inviting people wearing glasses. But what are you talking about? Penelope wears glasses. Patrick doesn't. He wears contacts. I didn't even know that. Yes, you did. You just don't want us there. Guys, that's not why I didn't invite you. Now stop bothering me. I have to get ready. Oh my god. I realize what it is. What is it, dude? It's not the glasses. It's not the name. What could it be? He's only inviting people that are gay. <gasps> not gay? Seriously? Well, Pen Penelope isn't gay, dude. How do you know? Have you ever seen her with a man? You're right, dude. Yeah, and every time I try to kiss her, she goes, Ew, no. A girl that doesn't like a guy? She likes girls. She's gay. Yeah, she would totally take that kiss, dude. Yeah, so she's a lesbian. <gasps> And Patrick's gay, because look, Patrick, we never seen him with a girl either, and he was talking about Tarzan. Tarzan's a half-naked man. What's he doing watching Tarzan? Jesus, you're right, dude. And Cody's gay himself, so he's only inviting gay people. So, me and you need to be gay for each other. Jesus, how are we going to do this? I got an idea. Come on. Okay, Posif, we have our gay pride button. So when Cody gets here, we have to act really gay. He's on his way. I got you, bro. Guys, I'm on my way to my ceremony right now. What do you want? Look at my ass. That is very nice. Man, I sure love me some man butt. Yep, me too. Yeah, me too. So, Cody, me and Posif are now gay. We're a gay couple. What, what are you guys talking about? You're not gay. You've never been gay. Oh, well, starting today, we're gay because mm -hmm. Posif was peeing in the bathroom. Yep. And I opened the door and I saw him peeing. And I saw his wiener. And I said, don't put that thing away. That's kind of hot. Yep, and I saw that he saw my wiener. And I said, yo, that's Hot. Yeah, so I grabbed his wiener and then he grabbed mine. Mm -hmm. It just couldn't let go. Yeah, we held on to each other's wieners for like 30 minutes. Yeah, that has to be a gay record or something. That, that does sound pretty gay. Oh, because we are so gay. Look at our gay buttons. I got the gay flag. Well, the fact that you called it the gay flag makes me think you're not really gay. Well, well look at Joseph's. I mean, Posev's gay. Pro he's proud for, for being gay. Yep, so proud for penis, dude. You don't even know. Yeah, we love penis. Yep, so much. And, and look at this. Look, pride it, it, uh, makes a family. So we, can, we can't have kids because we're gay, but we can adopt because two guys can't make a kid. Hmm. I'm not sure I believe this. I'm going to need you guys to prove it. Oh, how do you want us to prove it? We got all the gay buttons in the, in the gay. You guys should kiss. Oh, dude. See? No, I'm going to need you to do it with tongue. Oh, oh we, but we've done so much gay kissing today. Yeah, know? we had a gay makeout session like five minutes ago, and oh, my tongue is just so tired from, sore. from being gay. Yeah. Uh, just do it one more time. Come on, Dozen. Dude, you really want to do this? There's a buffet at that event. I need to go to that event. <sighs> Just open your mouth. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, gross, 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 gross. Oh, gross, so you're not really gay? Oh, no, we're gay. Yeah, so gay. It's just, uh, my, I, his tongue tastes like my balls. Yeah, 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 I have ball breath. I haven't brushed my teeth today. Yeah, you ever taste your own balls? Yuck. Mm. Well, we'll talk about this after I get back from my event. After we get back from your event? Mm -hmm. you, you guys are still not coming. What? So I kissed Joseph for no reason! That was tongue, dude! I thought you guys were gay! No, I'm not gay! I was just kidding, Joseph! I want to go to the event! I thought you were only inviting gay people! Wait, what are you talking about? Penelope's gay! No, she's not! Patrick's gay! Wait, no, he's not! Well, they I've never seen them with another person. Listen, can we please just go to the event? Please! I just want to go! Oh, on the buffet! No, guys, I have to go to the event before I'm late. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. You know what? I'm taking off all this ridiculous crap. Yeah. Or changing my name back to Junior and Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. And we're going to crash this event. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, hey, Penelope. I don't have a shirt on because I'm Tarzan. Hello and welcome to the Cody Nut Kiss Ceremony. We are gathered here today to celebrate how smart Cody is for getting a perfect score on his ACT and SAT tests. So I will be presenting him with this medal. There you go. You're smart. You can put it on your own damn self. Thank you, Mr. Governor. This is such an honor. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, I guess I'll give a speech. Uh, it ain't easy being cheesy. That's quoting the great Chester Cheetah, who happens to be here today. Thank you, Chester. I'd just like to thank all of my friends who came out today for uh, supporting me and believing that I could be this smart. Uh, I'd also just like to say... Hey, Cody! You didn't thank your actual friends, you nerd! Yeah, stupid nerd! Yeah, yeah, I know you got that medal for being smart, but you actually got that medal for having the fattest mom! Yeah, she's a whale, dude! Yeah, super <laughs> fat mom having himself is what you are. Yeah, she's a humpback whale, isn't she? Yeah, a big fat one. And also those pimples on your face, yeah, you can connect the dots and it would spell fat. Pepperoni face ass. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, you don't want to invite your real friend. You want to invite these fake people. Where's your real friend, nerd, loser, fat idiot? <laughs> Junior Joseph, this is exactly why I didn't invite you guys. You guys are dicks. <laughs> that was mean. I think we hurt his feelings, dude. I don't care. He hurt our feelings when he didn't invite us to this stupid event. Where's the buffet? There is no buffet. I was looking for the Cheeto. Man. So there's not even a buffet? Why'd we even come? I don't know. Uh, come on, Joe, let's leave. 
Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know they gave you a medal for being the biggest crybaby. Guys, do you not see how mean you just were? You ruined my whole event. We only did that because you didn't invite us, Cody. Well, I didn't invite you because I knew you were going to do that. No, if you would have invited us, we would have been on our best behavior. But since you didn't invite us, we acted like that. Yeah. You guys were already mean before you even knew I didn't invite you. Listen, Cody, friends bully friends, okay? We make fun of you because it's easy and it's funny. Yeah, we're supposed to support you, dude. That's what we were trying to do. You guys just wanted to come to the event because you wanted the buffet, which wasn't even there because I made that up to make you guys jealous. Cody, even if there would have been a buffet, we know your fat ass mom would have ate all the food. So listen, we only came there because we wanted to support you. You didn't invite us. We're supposed to be friends. We're best buds, you know? You know what we did to try to go? We changed our names for you. We wore glasses for you. We were we turned gay for yeah, you. Totally gay. Yeah, we were just trying to make you happy. We wanted to be there for you because you're our best friend. You didn't invite us. You know how much that hurt us? Yeah, I guess you're right. So we want an apology for not coming to your stupid nerd event. We want you to apologize for not inviting us. Right now. Okay, fine. I'm sorry I didn't invite you because you guys are assholes. Aww, he really meant it, dude. I think he truly means it. Aww. All right, Cody, next stupid event, you better invite us. We'll see. <gasps> we got a we'll see. <gasps> I like that. Yeah. All right, Cody, we're not going to apologize to you for anything because we didn't do anything wrong. At all. Because if you run a red light and then we hit you, we didn't do anything wrong. You're the one who caused this. So you caused all this by not inviting us. Mm -hmm. But we will let you throw this plane first. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, throw it over there as fast as you can. <clears throat> what are you? American Airlines Flight 191? Wait, what? It's a plane that crashed in the 70s. Oh, why did you just know that? I know, I know a lot of plane crash stuff. That's weird. Hey, Mommy! Hey, Daddy! You guys want some Cheerios? No. Ooh, I'd like some, Jeffy. Okay, Mommy, here you go. What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Mommy said she wanted some Cheerios. She said, like, in a bowl. Well, she didn't say that, plus that's too many instructions. Marvin, he was just trying to be nice. Jeffy, you're gonna get a vacuum and you're gonna clean up all this mess. What's your vacuum? It's a machine that sucks and makes a loud noise. Oh, so like a hooker? No, Jeffy, like a vacuum. It has, like, a big nozzle on it. Okay, I'll go get it. He's gonna clean up every single one of these Cheerios. All right, Danny, I got the vacuum. That's a delete book. What? I got the vacuum like you said. That's a leaf blower. Well, I don't see any leaves. Marvin, he was just trying to help. Stop taking it side. You always take it side. Oh, there's someone at the door. Jeffy, go get the real vacuum and clean up all this mess. Hello. Hey, Marvin. Oh, sorry, Goodman. I don't have my house payment this month. Well, it's okay, Marvin. I'm not here to take money from you. I'm actually here to give you money. Give me money? Yeah, let me introduce you to someone. Chief Watchu P. I am Chief Watchu P. And he does. I took a piss earlier. He watched me the whole time. Hmm. Hi. So what's going on? Well, he's wanting to buy your house, demolish it, and then build a casino on it. This land will make great casino. Well, I don't want to sell my house. I like my house. Well, he's offering you $50 million. $50 million? People love casino. Oh, okay, I'll sign it right now. Give me a pen. Well, hold on, Marvin. We want to give you this contract, and then you talk it over with your family, and then we come back later and pick up the contract. Well, no, no, no. I know I want to do it. I don't have to talk it over with them. I'll sign it right now. No, 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 Marvin. You have to wait 10 minutes and talk it over with your family. And also, you can't let anything happen to this contract because because the chief will not make another one. Nope, I only make one. Yeah, you see that little ink stain down there? His pen leaked a little bit of ink on the paper and he didn't even print out another one. So I can't let anything bad happen to this contract. Nope, and he also forgot to put the sign here line so we had to write that in ourselves. So how about I just sign it right now so nothing bad happens to it? No, Marvin, you have to talk it over with your family because hopefully something hilarious will happen. Uh, okay. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, nothing's gonna happen to this contract. Baby, baby, baby! What, Marvin? Jeffy, I told you to clean up all these Cheerios. Well, I'm trying to eat them as fast as I can. Marvin, what is this? Okay, some Indian guy wants to tear down the house and build a casino. Marvin, you can't say that. It's Native American, not Indian. Well, what about cowboys and Indians? No, you can't say that anymore. But we said that our whole lives. But Marvin, they're not from India. Okay, listen, some guy with a feather in his hat wants to tear down our house and build a casino. Aw, but I love this house. Baby, he wants to give us $50 million, and he said that we got to think about it. Marvin, we do have to think about it. You have to think about what color pen you want to use. How about green for the money, baby? <laughs> And there, I signed it. It looks perfect, Marvin. So now all we gotta do is wait nine minutes and they're gonna bring us $50 million. What possibly could go wrong in nine minutes? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Since the heat's playing, I'm making heat burgers. Heat, 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 heat. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, well then. <laughs> Jimmy! That's a very important document, Jimmy! Marvin, go get it! <sighs>
Where is it? Where is it? Chevy, have you seen a document? Oh, you talking about this? Ah! Chevy, put the fire out! Oh, look, my bad. Put it out! I was making burgers! <laughs> oh my god! What am I gonna do? You understand? That car check was worth $50 million! I didn't know! I was over here making heat burgers! Oh my god! <laughs> Did you get the paper, Marvin? Uh-huh. Oh my god, what happened to it? It got burned in a fire. Well, don't worry, Marvin. Just call the guy. I'm sure he'll print out a new one. You won't believe this goofy shit. The guy doesn't believe in two contracts. He only makes one. That's just silly, Marvin. I'm sure if he really wants this house, he'll print out a new contract. But you don't understand. He said he'd only ever make one. But I guess you're right. If I just call Goodman and explain what happened, maybe he can convince the Indian to make another one. Native American. Marvin. Uh, I don't, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get my phone. So you really think they're gonna destroy the contract in 10 minutes? Less than 10 minutes. Every time I drop something valuable off here, they always find a way to screw it up. I don't know what the hell goes on in that house. This one time, I had a dog I didn't want anymore, so instead of taking it to a pound, I brought it here and told Marvin that it was worth $2 million, and that I would give him $50,000 to watch it for me. And when I came back, they had shaved the dog and put a red nose on it and told me it was a reindeer. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not. So remind me again, what is our bet? If they destroy the document in 10 minutes or less, you owe me $50 million. But if they don't, you owe me $50 million. Yep, I love gambling on stupid shit. Me too. Oh look, look who's calling. It's Marvin. There's no way. Oh, get ready to pay up. Hey Marvin! Uh, hey Goodman. Um, are you around the Indian? Native American. The Native American Chief Wachupi? Uh, no Marvin, I'm all alone. I can tell by the sound of his voice, that contract is already destroyed. <laughs> I really can't believe they think my name is Chief Wachupi. My name is Greg. So, uh, there was kind of an accident, and the contract got burned in a fire. So I was wondering if, I, I know he said that he doesn't make copies, but is there just a chance that Chief Wachupi could just make a copy just this once? Pay the fuck up! I really can't believe you're right, but a deal's a deal. I'll go ahead and transfer the money right now, unless you want to go double or nothing. Oh, you're on. I bet that he'll destroy a second copy of the contract within five minutes. There's no way he destroys it that quick. Hey, Marvin, I'm going to do you a solid. I got a secret copy of the contract. I'll bring it to you, but you have to promise me that you won't destroy this one. Oh, my God. Thank you, Goodman. Yes, I promise. I'll take care of this one. I won't let anything happen to it. I promise. All right, Marvin, I'm on my way. Stupid fuck. He's such an idiot. Thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Baby, he's bringing a second contract. See, Marvin, I told you. All you had to do was believe. You were right. <gasps> That's him with the contract. Hello, Goodman? Hey, Marvin. I'm doing you a wicked solid by bringing you a copy of this contract. This is the absolute last copy of the contract that we have. <laughs> so, so you better take care of it. Are you laughing? No, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you the importance of the last copy that we have. This is the last copy that will ever be in existence. So you gotta think about it, and then sign it, and then get it back to me in five minutes, because I'll be here with the chief. No, 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 I, I wanna sign it right now so, you, so nothing happens to it. Mm -mm, mm, you, you gotta think about it. You gotta take this inside and think about it with your family, okay? <laughs> But I, I just can sign it right now. No, you can't. You're like, by law, you can't. I have to leave, and you have to take this, and you have to sign it, and you gotta think about it. Oh, okay. Hey, Greg, I told him that there weren't any more copies anywhere ever. But we have a whole stack of them right here. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Okay, baby, I got the second contract. Oh, thank God. Jeffy, go to your room. You mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you. Why? Because you turned on the leaf blower. Why do that? I don't know why you turned on the leaf blower. Blower, I hardly know. Jeffy, go to your room. All right. Okay, baby, give me the pen. Here you go. I'm about to sign it. <laughs> okay, but this pen's not working. Oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, the pen broke! And ink leaked all over the paper! Marvin, calm down. I'll get the white out. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, my God! Okay, Marvin. See, here's the whiteout. There's no need to be a Mr. Grumpy Pants. It's made for these situations. So explain to me what it's going to do. It's going to white out that stain. But then the paper's just going to be white. Yeah, well, we can write the words in after. Okay, I, I guess that's better than just the ink. Okay, so here, you just take a little bit and I'll, Oh my god, Marvin! Pick up, pick up, pick up, You bitch! Oh, are you mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you! Why? Because you spelled white out on the paper! Why'd I do that? I just leave! <laughs> oh my god, now there's ink and white out on the paper! I'm just gonna have to call Goodman and ask if he can give me another contract. God, I hope he has another copy. Oh, Goodman, I think I'm gonna get my money back this time. I highly doubt it. 
Oh, look who's calling me. It's Marvin. And I doubt he's calling me to tell me that the contract is safe or signed. Hello, Marvin. Hey, Goodman, listen. I know you gave me a copy of the contract and you told me it was the absolute last copy of it, but you, you won't believe this. I was trying to sign the contract and then my pen broke and ink got everywhere. And then I tried to put white out over the ink and it just got everywhere. And so the whole contract's ruined. And I was just wondering, is there any chance, like any chance at all, that you have one last copy of the contract? Well, isn't that the goofiest shit I've ever heard? Triple or nothing. I promise you if we give him another contract, he will destroy it within one minute. There's no way. But you're on. Okay, Marvin, you won't believe it, but I have one more copy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, sorry. It's fucking bananas. And I'll bring it to you, but you have to take care of this one. We have no more after this. Oh my God, really? Okay, thank you so much. I'll take care of it. I can't believe he had another one. Oh, that's him. Hello. <sighs> Just take it. I promise I won't let anything bad happen to it. Mm-hmm, I bet. Literally. No, I promise nothing bad will happen to this. All right, you just do your best, champ. I promise you don't have to worry about anything. God, I love that man. He keeps me rich. Okay, I got an erasable pen. So if I make any mistakes, I can erase it. And Jeffy's not around. There's no one else around. I'm going to sign it. And I'm going to get my $50 million. Okay, it is signed. So I'm just gonna go downstairs and wait and not let anything happen to this contract. Hello? Hello, sir. I'm a paper shredder salesman. Not interested. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. This bad boy can shred any piece of paper. You want me to show you that piece of paper you have there? No, go away. Jeez, what was his problem? Nothing is gonna destroy this contract, nothing. <gasps> okay, I think that might be Goodman. Hello? Hey Marvin, we're here for the contract. Did you sign it? I sure did. Ha! No way! Ha, ha. Goodman, you owe me 150 million dollars! You actually signed the contract and took care of it? What about the paper shredder guys in here? That didn't work? Hey, that's cheating! It doesn't matter, he didn't fall for it! What's going on? Listen, we're both rich assholes, so we like to bet on stupid things. And so I bet 50 million dollars that you would destroy that contract within 10 minutes. And you actually destroyed it! And then he said double or nothing! And then you destroyed it again! And then we said triple! or nothing, and then you signed it! I'm out of here! Sore loser! Hey, listen, I'm sorry for everything I put you through today, but you made me a lot of money, so here's 10 grand. Well, what about the contract? Uh, it wasn't notarized. Oh, by the way, my name's Greg. Oh, okay. I mean, at least I got $10,000. I mean. Another night, another crime. What do you got for me, Susan? The Pink Panther diamond has been stolen, sir. Where was it being stored? Inside this safe. Hmm, then I guess it wasn't very safe. Very good, as always, sir. Let's check it out. Jesus, what's with the mess? The diamond was being guarded by bulletproof glass, sir. Well, then how did it get broken? The thief used that hammer. It's not hammerproof glass. Damn, these criminals think of everything. Indeed they do, sir. Well, what was the guard doing? He was found sleeping outside. Well, I hope he had a good night's rest, because I'm about to make a good night's arrest. Man. Wait, what happened to that diamond? It looks like somebody had a smashing time. That was a decoy diamond, sir. So he keeps the decoy diamond right next to the real diamond? He's a gambling man. Well, it looks like the house won. Did you look for fingerprints? No, sir, not yet. Oh, well, you should probably do that. Yeah, probably. You smell that, Susan? It smells like a fart. It smells like hamburgers! You're right, it does smell like Ambel Gales. Why do you say hamburger like that, sir? I don't know, I just never learned how to say it right. That's how I've always said it. Repeat after me. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a Ambel Gale. Okay, okay, Let, let's try this. Say ham. Ham. Say burger. Burger. Say hamburger. Ambel Gale. Oh, my. I, I, I can't do it, Susan, I just can't do it. I'm gonna say cheeseburger. That sounds good, sir. Okay, but we have a clue. Whoever stole this diamond is somebody who likes to eat Ambel Gales. And I haven't eaten an Ambel Gale today. I 
I didn't have a hamburger today either. Yeah, so we just have to find somebody who's recently eaten an Ambel Gale. I'll go look for somebody. I'll get forensics down here. Hey, guy, I bet you 50 bucks I can beat you in the staring contest. Okay, deal. Marvin, $50 is a lot of money. I'm a puppet, I can't blink. What did there go? Ha, oh, you blinked. Jeffy, you blew in my face. Well, there's no rule against it, so pay up. <sighs> Here, Jeffy. Thank you. Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Up against the wall, spread them, let me smell your butt. What? What is that, cabbage? No, no, meatloaf, hold on. Lasagna and onions, did you have lasagna and onions for dinner? Yes. Damn, I'm good, I'm like Toucan Sam, I follow my nose. Why'd you smell my butt? I wanted to see if it smelled like burgers. Why would my butt smell like burgers? Because somebody stole a diamond and the thief is somebody who likes to eat Ambel Gales. Likes to eat what? Ambel Gales. Hamburgers? Yes, that. Now, did you have any Ambel Gales recently? No, I have not had a hamburger recently. Good, you're clean. I mean, I wouldn't say clean. You do have a pretty stinky bottom. I would maybe invest in a bidet. Well, can you just leave? Is there anybody else here? My wife and kid. I have to smell their butts, too. What? Don't you have a dog to do that? My dog sniffs out drugs, not Asperger's. Get out of my way. What? All right, everybody bend over. Let me smell your butt. Excuse me? Oh, good, a fresh one. That'll make this even easier. I don't smell anything. What are you talking about? I gotta see if your ass smells like burgers. I'm vegan. I don't eat burgers. Oh, so you're clean, that's good. But you, you bring that ass over here. Does your ass smell like burgers? I've been told I'm on the spectrum. Hmm, let me see. Oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. Do you ever wash that thing? I don't believe in soap, and when I'm in the shower, I just let the water run between my butt cheeks. Okay, well, it definitely doesn't smell like burgers. So none of you guys have had any Ambel Gales? No, we've not eaten any hamburgers recently. Damn, okay. I just really wish I had a better clue than a burger fart. So what exactly happened? Somebody stole the Pink Panther diamond, and it's worth $100 million. And all I know is that the person who stole it likes Ambel Gales. Well, there's a homeless guy outside who likes hamburgers. Show me! Well, he's a homeless guy. He wouldn't steal a Pink Panther diamond. He has even more reason to steal it because he's homeless and he needs the money. Now I said show me, damn it! Okay. Okay, here's the homeless guy. Hey, cheeseburger man. He calls me cheeseburger man because I gave him a cheeseburger one time. <laughs> cheeseburger man. All right, listen here, you stinky bum. What'd you do with the Pink Panther diamond? <laughs> kitty cat. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. Okay, not talking, huh? Well, let me smell your butt. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, it smells like piss. It smells like piss and cigarettes. It's not him. He didn't do it. Let's go back to the couch. Uh, okay. Well, now I don't know who could have stolen the diamond. Well, you said the diamond's worth $100 million, right? Yeah. So what's the robber planning on doing with the diamond? Sell it. Well, who can he sell a stolen $100 million diamond to? No one has that kind of money. That's a good point. He would have a really hard time finding somebody to sell that diamond to. Huh, that gives me an idea. We should open up a We Buy Diamonds store. Yeah, and then we can make a commercial that says we'll buy any diamond in cash, even if it's $100 million, and we won't tell the police or ask questions. That sounds a little too convenient for the robber. No, it's exactly what he'll be looking for. Come on, let's make a commercial. He's not going to fall for it. All right, before we make our commercial, we should come up with a name for our diamond store. How about the diamond store? That's so lame and unoriginal. It should be something new, like Diamond King. Yeah, and then our theme song can be like, diamonds, 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 diamonds. We buy diamonds, even stolen ones. We don't even tell the police. At DK, diamonds your way. Diamond King. That's literally just Burger King. No, it's not. I, I just came up with that just now. We'll come up with a different one. Okay, how about like uh, Arby's? We buy the diamonds. What? You literally just copied Arby's. No. Well, how about how about this? Uh, we buy diamonds. Dum 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 dum. That's like that farmer's thing. Yeah, I don't actually know. What How about we just focus on the actual commercial? Yeah, yeah, okay. I already, I already wrote your script. It's over there on the teleprompter. Just read it. You just want me to read it? Yeah, go. Okay, um, right now? Yeah, go ahead. Hey there. Do, do you have a big stolen diamond worth $100 million? Well, we want it because we can buy it because we have the cash. Show the cash. I have the money right here, and there's more where this came from. So if you just come by, we'll buy your diamond, and we won't even tell the police. No, we won't. I, I, I'm dressed up like a cop to show you who we won't tell. We, we hate cops. I'm showing you what we hate. I, I, I won't be here when you come to buy the diamond. I, I won't. He's not a cop. I'm not a cop. So come bring us the Pink Panther diamond, if you have it. Yes. Or any diamond worth all that much money. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I think that was good. I, th I think we're ready to put it on TV. I don't even think we have to do a second take. Are you sure? I feel like I was pretty bad in this. No, you were great, dog. Come on, let's go. Okay, Marvin, our commercial's airing, so now all we have to do is sit back, pop open a few brewskis, and wait for that diamond thief to come to us. Wait, you use our address for the diamond store? Me, 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 me. Yeah, of course I did, because now the diamond thief can just come straight here, and we don't even have to do any work. 
<gasps> oh my god, Marvin, our first customer! Okay, show him our holiday catalog, tell him he gets 25% off on all earrings and birthstones, and tell him that white gold is in the season. Yellow gold is so last year. And see what kind of car he drove in with? And if it's nice, push the opals. And also tell him that we offer financing. What? Oh, th never mind. It's probably the diamond thief. Just, just answer the door, and then when he shows you the pink panther diamond, I'll pop out and arrest him. Y you do know what the pink panther diamond looks like, right? It's big and pink. boy, Come on, let's go get him. Hello? Hi, is this the diamond store? Yes, it is. Is there a diamond you would like to sell? Yes, I want to sell my wedding ring because my husband doesn't wear his anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to ask my manager if we accept wedding rings. Oh, manager. Gotcha, thief. Let me smell your butt. Boyney, what are you doing here? What, Karen, what the hell are you doing here? I'm here to sell my wedding ring, Boyney, because you don't wear yours anymore. I told you what happened to mine, Karen. It got swallowed by a rattlesnake. I don't believe you, Boyney. What, do you want me to try to go around and open every rattlesnake's mouth looking for it? It could bite me. I could die. You want me to die, Karen? No, Boyney, but I think you're a liar. I've never lied a day in my life. That's a lie right there, Boyney. Karen, just get the hell out of here. We're doing official police business. No, Boyney, I want to sell my wedding ring. Well, how much do you want for it? I want a brand new cake pan set for the kitchen. Marvin, do you have cake pans? No, I don't. You know what? Just forget it. Marvin, let's just go upstairs. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Are you guys still open? What's the Hamburglar doing here? What the hell are you doing here, Ambel Gales? This isn't a McDonald's. We don't have any Ambel Gales for you to steal. Nah, I heard you guys buy diamonds. We don't want to buy any of your stupid Ambel Gales, you stupid idiot Ambel Gales. We don't buy Ambel Gales and we don't sell Ambel Gales. I have a diamond I want to sell. I don't want to buy you stupid Ambel Gales, you stupid idiot, stupid idiot Ambel Gales. So Gale, you guys idiot. don't want to buy my hundred million dollar thing. You know, forget it. Marvin, can you believe that stupid Ambel Gale was trying to sell us an Ambel Gale? Who was at the door, Marvin? The Ambel Gale. Who? The Hamburglar. You've got to learn how to say hamburger right. I can't. I've been trying since I was a kid. Well, try this. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Oh, okay, that's it. Shut up. Listen, it is hamburger. Ambel Gale. Sir, sir, sir. The fingerprints results came in. Well, who was it? Who stole the Pink Panther diamond? It's the Hamburglar! The Ambel Gale? But he was just here trying to sell us an Ambel Gale! And he got away! He's never gonna come back here now! Ooh, I have an idea, Marvin. We have to make another commercial to get him to come back here. Hey there, do you have a stolen Pink Panther diamond you would like to sell for a hundred million dollars cash? And are you the Ambel Gale? Because if so, please come back. I'm sorry I called you an idiot. Yes, please, Hamburglar, come back. We have a bunch of hamburgers for you. Look at all of these Ambel Gales that we have for you, and we also have a lot of money. For you to take. Come back. Please. All right, Marvin, he's gonna see that commercial and come running back. <gasps> there he is, Marvin, off of the catalog, 25% off. Hello? I changed my mind, I'll take 50 bucks for it. Get the fuck out of here, Cam, we're trying to catch the Ambion Glail. Hey there. Oh, hey, Mr. Ambion Glail, you saw our commercial, didn't you? Oh yeah, I came back to sell my diamond, now where's the cash? Oh, the money's upstairs, just follow us. All right. All right, here's your cash. Yeah, I don't see any money. Oh, we don't actually have cash, so we're gonna have to pay you an Ambel Gales. I could buy a lot of hamburgers with a hundred million dollars. But you're the Ambel Gale. Don't you want an Ambel Gale? Do they have cheese? No, they're not cheeseburgers. They're Ambel Gales. Well, then I'm just gonna have to go. Wait, wait, wait. We do. We actually do have cash. But first, I want to inspect this diamond. Hmm, look, Marvin, it's the Pink Panther Diamond. That's really cool. Interesting. Wow, that's a really nice cape. You mind if I look at it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a really great cape. What's it made of? You're under arrest! Hey, you said in the commercial you weren't a cop! Yeah, well, I lied. See, buddy, I knew you were a liar! Shut the hell up, Karen. I'm arresting the Ambel Gale. Ooh, Ambel Gales? Yes, Karen, those are Ambel Gales. Can I have an Ambel Gale? You can have an Ambel Gale. Oh, my God. Please just take me to jail! Shut up, Ambel Gale. My wife's enjoying an Ambel Gale. <laughs> Thanks for helping me catch the Ambel Glale, Marvin. Help yourself to an Ambel Gale. Come on, Ambel Glale. Let's go to jail. No Ambel Glales for you. Thank you for taking us out to eat, Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, I didn't feel like cooking tonight, so it's my treat. Uh, my food was raw, and I ate half of it before I noticed, so now I'm worried I'm gonna get sick. Would anyone like a to-go box? No, I don't need one. Uh, hey, my food was raw, so is there anything we could do about it? I need one! But well, Joseph, you barely touched your food! Yeah, you only took two bites! What's wrong with you, Joseph? Well, when you're homeless like me, you gotta shave for every bite. I'm gonna eat it later! Uh, guys, I'm starting to feel kinda sick. Ah, uh, here you are, sir. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this later. <laughs> wow, wasting a perfectly good meal, Cody. It was a perfectly good meal. I wouldn't be throwing it up. Hey, Chef Pee, how can you afford to take us all out to eat? That's the thing, guys. I can't. Run, Dennis! <laughs> so, how are you going to want to pay? Oh, bollocks! They dined and dashed! Someone call the police! 
you shit, baby, you didn't pay? Of course I didn't pay. That place is too expensive. We just can't eat there ever again. I don't want to eat there again. My food was raw. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm kind of hungry. So let me eat my burger. Ah! But Joseph, what happened to your food? I don't know, dude. That's crazy. Uh. I can't believe you, dude. Yeah, it was you, Cody. What? You just burped. That's your stomach bragging that you just ate all of Joseph's food. No, I just had to burp. No, you were so upset about your peak ass burger that you ate my burger. Well, I didn't eat your burger. It all makes sense, Cody. You were mad about your food at the restaurant, so when we weren't looking, you shoveled all of Joseph's food in your mouth like a fatty. What? No, I didn't. You're just like your mom, a big fat whale cow. Yeah, you obese ogre. Yeah, big fat ogre. Well, I didn't eat your food. No, no, you're just like your mom. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, so your mom eats all the apples because she's fat, and then she picks her teeth with a tree like a toothpick. Ha, Fatty McFat Fat! So fat! Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't eat Joseph's food. But then, then where's his food at? Well, I don't know. Maybe it fell out. Into your mouth because yeah. you're fat. Yeah! Well, or maybe maybe he picked up the wrong box. That's exactly what a fat person who eats someone's to-go box would say. Fat excuses! Yeah, big fat excuses. Well, okay, what, what what can I do to prove it? Well, let, me, let me smell your breath. What, well, why? Because then I can smell that you ate Joseph's food. But we all had the same food. It's going to smell the same. No, Joseph's burger smelled different. Let me smell. Okay. Oh, it smells like Joseph's burger. I knew it! Mm -hmm. I knew it! It's so, so fat. I didn't eat your goddamn burger. Okay, then go step on a scale. What? I want to weigh you. If you weigh like you have two burgers in your belly, then that means you ate it. But you don't even know how much I weighed before I ate. You look super fat right now. You look like a chipmunk with all the burgers in your cheeks. What, what are you talking about? Look, come to the scale. Come on. Admit it! All right, Cody, step on the scale. This isn't going to prove anything. It's going to prove that your belly's full of hamburgers because you're the hamburglar. Okay, fine. There, I weigh about 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Wow! Oh, you're so many hamburgers in that belly. Well, I didn't eat your burger. If you admit it now, I won't be mad. Well, you shouldn't be mad because I didn't eat it. The fact that he keeps lying makes me sad. Oh, Joseph. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Joseph. No, it's not, dude. He can't even admit that he ate my burger. Okay, guys, that's it. I've had enough. Oh, now you've had enough? You didn't have enough when you ate the food at the restaurant. You didn't have enough when you ate Joseph's food out of his to-go box. Why is it enough now? Oh, my God, guys. What am I gonna have to do to prove I didn't eat it? We can give you the fat test. Wait, what is the fat test? The fat exam or the FAT. What is the FAT? The FAT is the fat ass test. It tests how fat you are. Well, okay, fine. I'll take the FAT. Joseph, grab the Butterfingers. <gasps> Not the Butterfinger, dude! Yep, the Butterfingers. Grab it. Okay. What is the Butterfinger for? No fat person can resist a Butterfinger. So we're going to put the Butterfingers in the to-go box. And you have to resist yourself from eating it. Okay, I'm just not going to eat it. No fat person can resist a Butterfinger, dude! Yeah, you're going to grab that to-go box and you're going to start eating the Butterfinger. I'm not going to eat it. Okay, we'll see. He's reaching for it! Oh, he's so fat! He's reaching for it! Oh, no, I wasn't reaching. I was just sitting down. Oh, no, no, no. You're just trying to sneak your hand in the to-go box so you can grab the Butterfingers. No, you know what? I'm just going to stand all the way over here. Okay. You're going you're to try to go around the couch and go behind our backs and eat the Butterfinger. No, I'm not going to eat the Butterfinger because I didn't eat the burger. When would I even have had time to eat the burger? I was too busy throwing up and running away. You're just trying to monologue so we fall asleep so then you can grab your hand inside the to-go box and eat the Butterfinger. I'm not going to eat it. Oh, yeah? Well, Joseph, show him the Butterfinger. It's right here. Maybe just... Oh! You already ate it! I knew it! What? How would I even eat it? Well, maybe you use your mind, your tele fat and mind to, yeah. to, to like to like teleport it into your stomach. But I can't just absorb food with my brain. But your stomach can absorb food with its fatness. What? No, guys, I didn't eat it. This is weird. I don't even know what happened. Oh, where did the Butterfinger go, Cody? I, I don't know. Maybe the box can like teleport stuff inside it. Oh. Well, if the box can teleport stuff, why, why, why don't it teleport me next to a model in the shower? Yeah, yeah, maybe it only works if I close it. Huh? Oh, where am I? Oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, my God! See, look, Cody, Joseph is inside the to-go box. He's not teleporting anywhere. You can come out now, Joseph. Ah! He's gone! Where did Joseph go? How is this even possible? Did you eat him, you fatty? No, shut up, Junior. This is serious. Joseph just disappeared. How could that happen? Well, Junior, it is a to-go box. Maybe it teleports you anywhere you want to go. To-go box? It's called that because it takes you where you want to go. SML movie, the to-go box. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Oh, oh wait, so, so you're telling me that Joseph teleported into a shower with a supermodel? No way. Oh, hey guys. Wait, Joseph, where have you been? I saw cans. It teleported you to a grocery store? No, your friend got arrested for being a peeping Tom because he got in a shower with a supermodel. Well, no, it's not his fault, officer. He got teleported from this to-go box. What are you kids on, smack or something? You're talking crazy. No, really, officer, he's telling the truth. Yes. Yeah, sat in this to-go box and it teleported me there. Oh, really? If this to-go box really teleports people, then I want to be in the shower with a supermodel. Nothing's happening. Well, I have to close it. What the? What, where am I? What, oh, my sweet Jesus. Um, hey, could you pass the soap? Oh, my God! What are you doing? 
You guys think it worked? Yeah, dude, it worked for me. Oh, man, you kids were not lying. She was pissed. Oh, but man, was she hot, though. Officer, why do you think this to-go box teleports us places? I don't know. You guys got some kind of crazy alien to-go box technology. Honestly, I just destroy it. Nobody should have that much power. All right, we'll destroy it right now. Oh, man, my ugly wife is calling me. Hello? Ugly wife? Oh, you heard that, huh? Well, what's up, Karen? Boydie, I sort of kind of started a fire in the kitchen. How'd you manage that, Karen? I was cooking. W why would you even attempt that? We both know you're bad at it. Because I was really hungry, Boydie. Oh, why didn't you just eat a Lunchable? Boydie, it's a mess. I need you to come home and cook dinner. You have to do laundry, too, and give me a back rub because my back hurts. Why does your back hurt? What did you do today? Well, I just woke up, and I need you to feed the four puppies, too. But we don't have puppies, Karen. Karen. Oh, I adopted puppies today, and they peed all over the house, so you need to clean that up when you get home. Okay. I want to go to Hawaii. What, you want to go, what? Close the box! Uh, okay. Oh, man, I am in paradise. Nope, not answering my phone. You guys think he's enjoying Hawaii? I know I would. Yeah, he probably is, but we should still destroy this thing like the cops said. You're right, Cody. Let's destroy it. No, we can't, dude. We have our own teleportation device. Let's use it. Let's have fun. You're right, Joseph. When are we ever going to get a teleportation device again? We should have fun and go places we'll never go. <gasps> we could go to Disney World in Tokyo. <gasps> dude, I love Asian Mickey Mouse. He loved you a long time. What? Well, Cody, come on. Let's go have fun. Well, guys, this thing is dangerous. How is it dangerous, Cody? Well, what if we teleport somewhere bad? Like what? Your mom's bedroom while she's getting dressed? <laughs> We'll see a big fat whale naked. Oh! Yeah, like that. Come on, Cody. We can teleport you to a buffet so you can keep eating food, you fatty. What, do you guys still think I ate Joseph's food after all of this? You guys are idiots. Come on, Cody. Why don't we teleport to the moon and we can jump around in zero gravity? Oh, that'd be fun, dude. You would die. How would we die? People have been to the moon before and haven't died. Well, there's no air. We'll hold our breath. Well, even if you could hold your breath that long, you'd still freeze to death in space. We can wear jackets. Duh. Well, I don't think you guys understand how cold space is. We'll wear two jackets. <laughs> Idiot. Okay, fine, Gina. Go to the moon. Do it. No, I don't want to go anymore. Why? Because you know you're going to die? No, because you ruined it. I don't, I don't want to go to the moon anymore. It's stupid. Okay, whatever. Dude, dude. If this could teleport us anywhere, it could take me to meet my dad. <gasps> You've never met your dad before. And it could find your dad for you and take you to your dad. I know, dude. Like, he abandoned me when I was little, so I could just pop up on him and, and maybe we could, like, play basketball together or something. Oh, my God. You have to get in there. Okay, look, take him to your dad. <gasps> Come on. Take me to my dad. Huh? Wait, where am I? Ah! Dad! Ah! I trapped in a coffin! Somebody get me out! Guys! Guys! Help! 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 Ah! Do you think he's with his dad? Yeah, I bet they're laughing and giggling and hugging and having the best time. Yeah, I bet they are. Alright, Cody, where do you want to go? I'm not going anywhere in that damn thing. But why not? You don't want to go see your mom? Why would I see my mom? I already know where she is. She's at home. No, she's in the deep blue sea because she's a whale. Oh my god, Junior, stop with the mom jokes! Okay, I'll be done for the day. Hmm. Ooh, I know where I want to go. What if I teleport inside a bank vault and I grab all the money and bring it back here? Well, you would have no way of getting back. Oh, you're right. <gasps> what if I tie a string around me and then and then I go to the bank and then you pull me back with the string? Well, that might work. I, I don't know. Uh, are you sure you want to try it? I mean, if you get caught in the vault trying to steal money, you're going to be in big trouble. Well, that's why you're going to pull me back with the string. If you say so. I'm going to get the string. All right, Cody, so the string is wrapped around me. So I'm going to go in the to-go box, I'm going to go to a bank, you're going to count to ten, and then you're going to pull me out and I'm going to have millions of dollars. Okay, count to ten, then I pull you out. Got it. All right. To-go box, take me to a bank with a lot of money. Oh my god, it worked! Look at all this money! Cody, we're so rich! All right, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, what am I gonna do? Uh, oh, good, it's Junior. Hello? You let go of the string! I didn't let go, it broke off! Oh, yeah, likely story. You're just mad at me because I called you fat, so you're trying to get payback by making me stranded in this vault. Well, no, your side of the string teleported away with you. You're supposed to hold on to it! I did, but it broke in half. Cody, you have to do something. I don't want to go to jail. Look, look, teleport me like a, a, a blanket. A blanket? Why? It's cold in here. Well, Junior, I really don't know how to help you. Ooh, ooh, can you teleport me some snacks, like some Skittles or like... Ooh, a Butterfinger. What, Junior, I don't think that's gonna help. Oh, oh, oh no! The alarm's going off! They, they, they found me! Cody! Uh, I gotta go. Oh, man. Breaking news, MK! A kid has been arrested after breaking into a safe and trying to steal all the money. Wow, can today get any worse? There he is! That's the guy that died in dust! Get him! No! Come on, I didn't even get your stupid food! Take me somewhere! Take me somewhere! Anywhere! 
Jeffy, what do you want? Oh no, he's gonna throw up. Marvin, grab a towel. Okay. Oh, come on, Jeffy, throw up a hairball. Not again. I'm sorry, Danny. I was just cleaning myself down there and I got a hairball. We told you to stop doing that. Take a shower like a normal person. But I want you to be a kitty cat. You're not a kitty cat, Jeffy. Now. Oh, there's someone at the door. I want to come too. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, what are you doing here? Well, I just bought something really expensive and I want to show it to you. Okay. I can just throw up a hairball. Nice. All right, let me show you. Come on. There it is, Marvin. Just look at it. You bought another car? Not just any car. That's a collectible, Marvin. That's a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. It's one of 800. If anything happened to that car, I would kill that person. I would literally put them in a crate and ship them to Madagascar to be with the lemurs so they can sing Move It, Move It. There was a fly on the windshield, and guess what happened to that fly? You smushed it? No, that would make my car dirty. I was literally like a frog, and I went Bleh! and I shot my tongue out five feet. I got the fly and I ate it, and then when I pooped it out, I lit it on fire. So that's how important that car is to me, Marvin. Well, then if it's so important to you, why are you driving it? Because I wanted to show it to you. Okay. Now, I'm going to go inside and take a piss, and don't you let anything happen to this car, okay? All right, I won't let anything happen to it. All right. Hey, Danny, can you take my picture next to the car? Yeah, just don't touch it. Let me get my phone. All right, Jeffy, say cheese. Cheese. What, you're too close to the car. Get away from it. Okay. Hold on, let me turn the flash on. What? Oh, you dropped your phone and hit the rich guy's car. Now you're going to go to Madagascar with the lemur. What? No, no, I don't think it left a mark or anything. Yep, it left a scratch, Daddy. Oh, oh my God. Wait, did, did I did I cause that scratch? Yeah. No, no, no. It can come off. It's not coming off, Daddy. Oh, okay, look, look, look. he's not going to notice it. Look, it's nighttime, and, and and it was there before I did that, right? No, your phone hit it and did that. Oh, no, 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 Jeffy, look, let's go inside, and let, let's, not talk, let's not talk about it. Come on. Ooh. All right, Jeffy, do not say anything. Hey, Morgan. Ah! Hello to you, too. Did you get done looking at my car? Yep, but we're, we're done looking at it. It is gorgeous. Did anything happen to it? No, no, nothing happened to your car. Well, my dang dropped his phone. Ah, I, I, I dropped my phone on the ground and broke the screen. How poor. Anyway, have a good day, Marvin. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, Jeffy, come, come inside. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was Goodman. That's all it was. Oh, what did he want? He wanted to show us his new car. Ooh, was it nice? It was nice until Danny dropped his phone and scratched the hood of his car. You did what, Marvin? It was an accident. Look, Jeffy wanted a picture next to the car, and I tried to take it, and I dropped my phone and scratched it. Marvin, what did he say? Well, he doesn't know about it yet. Marvin, you need to tell him. Well, he's going to kill me if he finds out. Actually, he's not going to kill you. He's going to put you in a crate and ship you to Madagascar to be with the lemurs. Marvin, he might appreciate your honesty. Steve. He's not going to appreciate that. So what are you going to do when he notices? Look, 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 it's nighttime. He's not going to notice it tonight. If he does notice it, it'll be tomorrow and it won't be our problem. He'll think like it happened in his garage or something. I think he noticed, Marvin. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to go answer the door and uh, just make my funeral nice, okay? All right, Danny, I'll send you a postcard to Madagascar. Hello? Marvin, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do you it. You left your phone on the ground. Oh. And you told me the screen was cracked and it's not. Oh, thank God it didn't crack. I thought it did when I dropped it. That makes you a liar. And I don't like liars, Marvin. Next time you lie to me, you're getting a spanking, and I'm going to cut your tongue off and sew it to my mouth. Then I'm going to have two tongues. Uh, but uh, here's your phone back. Take your poor phone. Who do you think you are, me? You can't just leave iPhones laying around on the ground. Ew, poor. Okay. I, there you go again. I, Jesus, Marvin. I, I can't deal with you right now, okay? I, I think it actually is cracked this time. So did he notice, Marvin? Obviously not, Mommy, because he's not on his way to Madagascar right now. Look, he just wanted to give me my phone back. So he didn't notice. No, and he's not going to notice, so we don't have to worry about it. Unless I tell him. Jeffy, you wouldn't. Marvin, you wouldn't have to worry about that if you just told him yourself. I'm not going to tell him because I don't want to die. And Jeffy, you're not going to tell him either. Well, I'm going to tell him unless you do every little thing that I say. Jeffy, we're not doing that. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to call him and tell him what happened. Oh, Okay, fine. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, I don't want any part of this. All right, Danny. The first thing I want you to do is give me a foot massage. Ew, that's gross. I just need to take my shoe off and get my sock off. All right. I really need you to get in between the toes. You don't have toes, Jeffy. Well, then get to rubbing my nub, Daddy. That sounds inappropriate. <sighs> okay. Ew. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, Daddy, rub my feet. Yeah, that's gross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done with that. We're done with that. That's gross. Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Um, oh, hold on, Daddy. I gotta go get ready and I'll give you your next task. Get ready? All right, Daddy. Put this on. What, Jeffy, why are you wearing a bunny outfit and why do you want me to put one on? Because we're gonna listen to Hop Hop and dance together for an hour straight. Oh, I love the Hop Hop. 
hop song. I'm not going to dance to the hop hop song for an hour straight. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to call Mr. Goodman and tell him what happened. Ugh, I'll do the dance. I just don't want to wear the bunny outfit. Oh, you're going to wear the bunny outfit. I'm not wearing the bunny outfit. This is ridiculous, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, you ready to start hop hopping? No. All right, here we go. Oh, hop, 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 Daddy, you're not hopping. <sighs> Can we stop now? No, we're only a few seconds into our hour. An hour. I can't go any longer, Jimmy. And done. All right, Jeffy, can I take this ridiculous outfit off now? Sure, Daddy. But just remember, before we go to bed, you gotta put it right back on. I'm so glad I got to take that costume off. Marvin, I'm so tired after doing that dance. I think I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, me too. Uh-uh-uh, Danny. You still got to do more stuff for me. Come on, Jeffy. I just danced for an hour. I'm tired. Well, I want you to shave your mustache off now. What? Shave my mustache? I'm not going to shave my mustache, Jeffy. Yes, you are. You're going to give it to me. What? No, Jeffy. My mustache makes me look good. Who said that? Well, Jeffy, I'm not shaving my mustache off. You're going to shave that mustache off or else I'm going to call Goodman. Oh, okay, I did it. I shaved my mustache off. Why did it come off in one piece? Oh, I feel so naked without my mustache. Can I please glue it back on? No, Daddy, I'm going to be you now. Oh, Jeffy, you're grounded. You got to eat green beans and no fun things, bitch. Jeffy, give me my mustache back. No. Marvin, are you coming to bed? <sighs> give me a second, baby. Ew, who are you? Wait, who are you? <sighs> it's me, baby. Oh, Marvin, I definitely wasn't talking to another man just now. Oh, you're back. Marvin, where'd you come from? Just go to bed, baby. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Jeffy, can I please go to bed now? No, Daddy. Now I want you to dress up just like me. Why? Because I've always wanted a twin. <sighs> I don't feel like dressing up like you, Jeffy. You're going to do it or else I'm going to call Mr. Goodman. <sighs> <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I'm dressed up like you. Oh, Daddy, look, you're like a little mini-me. Yeah, what do you want me to do now? All right, Daddy, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go... I don't know how to do that. Well, then it's easy. You just open your mouth like this, uh, and then you go, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, uh, uh, uh. No, Dad, you got to put some effort into it like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 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 uh. No, Dad, you got to try hard like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I guess we'll work on that later. All right, the next thing I want you to do is smack your diaper like this. <sighs> No, Dan, you gotta put some hate behind it like this, like, uh, 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 like bad peepee. -pee. You better bad peepee. -pee. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think I can do it that hard. Well, you gotta try, Danny. Uh, no, Danny, like this, like you gotta lay on your back. Go. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that, Jeffy. All right, Danny. Well, I guess we won't do the diaper smacking. Oh, yes, I can go to bed. No. Now you gotta fight my bully. Well, I'm not gonna fight your bully, Jeffy. Well, I'm getting tired of fighting him, so I need you to fight him, okay? What? No. All right. Well, I'm calling him. Wait, wait, no, 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 don't call him. Oh, it's ringing. Hello? Hey, loser, why are you calling me? How'd you even get my number? Well, I'm calling you because I don't want to fight you. No, 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 we don't. All right, I'll be right there. Okay, yeah, I want to fight you at the front door. I want you to fight me like you've never fought anybody before. No. Okay, that's kind of weird, but all right, I'll do it. All right, good. Well, I, I, Jeffy, I'm not going to fight your bully. He's a kid. Well, he's on the way, Daddy. I'm not going to fight him, Jeffy. Oh, I think that's him at the door now. Oh, look, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to go talk to him like a normal person, and I'm going to de-escalate the situation. Hello? Hey, nerd, you ready to fight? No, I would not like to fight, young man. I think we should peacefully resolve this situation by using our words. <laughs> Clocked your ass. Uh, all right, Jeffy, I fought him. Daddy, you lost? How do you know? Because I'm on the phone right now, and he's bragging about it. Ha <laughs> ha, how's it feel to get knocked out, loser? Daddy, I've never lost to him ever. You stupid dog, you make me look bad. Ooga booga 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 booga. You know what? I actually didn't lose. You fought my clone. You don't have a clone. Yes, I do. Come to my house right now, and I'll show you that there's two of us. There's someone at the door, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, come on. That must be him. We got to show him that there's two of us. Me. Two of me. Uh, come on. Two of us. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Goodman, oh no, did you find out? Find out about what? Uh, nothing. Why are you crying? Oh, Marvin, it's awful. This is what happened. I was driving down the road in my brand new Lamborghini, and all of a sudden I see an Amazon Prime truck driving right in front of me. So I speed up and crash right into it. And then I sue Amazon, and Jeff Bezos settled out of court for a measly $100 million. And that's all they think my life is worth. A measly $100 million. 
hundred million dollars. But the worst part is, Marvin, my Lamborghini, one of eight hundred, is totaled, and the front of it isn't even recognizable anymore. It isn't? Why are you so happy about that? It was one of eight hundred, Marvin. I figured you'd be sad. I could have been killed. Oh no, no, I, I just, I just can't believe the front of it's not recognizable anymore. You hear that, Jeffy? So, so yeah, I just, I was shocked. What are you gonna do now? Oh, I already bought another one. What, you did? Yeah, it, it, I mean, now it's one of 799, because I totaled the other one, obviously. But it's same color and everything. You like it? it you yeah. See? I don't know if you can see it back there. Yeah, it, it looks nice. Yeah, so why are you dressed like that? Oh, my, my son bet me to, to, to dress like this. Oh, that's cute. Right, anyway, I'm gonna go drive my brand new Lamborghini. See you later, Marvin. Okay, watch out for those Amazon Prime trucks. Ha ha, Jeffy, you hear that? Goodman crashed his Lamborghini, so you can't blackmail me anymore, so uh. Marvin, why are there so many people ringing the doorbell? It's late. <laughs> Marvin, Jeffy, ew! Hey, Terrence, are you hungry? Hey, Junior, what are you doing? Yeah, dude. Well, I'm about to feed my tarantula this cricket. Oh, you still have your pet tarantula. Wait, what was his name again? Terrence, like tarantula. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Terry like tarantula. That's clever. <laughs> oh, it went over my head for a second. <laughs> Boy, you clever today. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna feed him this cricket. Oh, what's the cricket's name? Jiminy? What? That's a lame name for a cricket. Yeah, it should be like Cricky or Hoppy. I like Hoppy. Yeah, Hoppy. Well, no, like Jiminy Cricket, like from Pinocchio. Hopper from Bugs Life. <gasps> Hopper! Oh, I love yeah, Hopper. Yeah, 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 his name's Hopper. But Hopper was a grasshopper. No, he wasn't. But that's why his name was Hopper. No, he was a cricket. They say he's a grasshopper. Who wants to feed my tarantula this cricket? Me, 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 Cody said it first. What? No, I said it first. No, Cody said it first. Oh, hey there, little guy. Are you ready to be eaten by a giant eight-legged monster? Oh, don't even think about crying to your family. All your little cricket brothers and sisters are probably already dead. They've already probably been eaten by monsters. You need some help, Cody. Yeah, what's wrong with you? What? I just like to play God. All right, you ready to die? Get in there, little guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, oh mess him up, Terrence. Mess yeah, him up. Yeah, rip his head off. Yeah, devour him. Yeah, come on, eat him, Terrence. Eat him. Yeah. He, he's, he's over there. He's, he's over there, Terrence. Come on. He's, just, he's not doing it. Yeah, I'm bored, dude. Uh, maybe he's not hungry. Oh, guys, guys, let's go get Chef Pee to make us something to eat. Yeah, dude. Okay, but wait, what's that, Ken? Oh, Ken wants to pet your tarantula. Wait, pet my tarantula? Yeah, he's really good with animals. Don't worry, he'll be okay. He's a dog, dude. There you go, Ken. All right, well, if you think he's going to be safe, let's go. Oh, yeah, he's fine. Mm -mm -mm, this looks so good. Hey, Chef PB, we're hungry. Well, the Pop-Tart lasagna is almost ready. Pop-Tart lasagna? Oh, that's the best. You know it. Oh, man, I can't wait to eat it. Wait, Cody, are you sure Ken's okay with my tarantula? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Ken's a tarantula expert. He handled a whole bunch of them when he was saving the Amazon rainforest. I just wanted to make sure. I'm so full, dude. Yeah, Chef Peepee's Pop Tart lasagna is the best. Yeah, no one makes it like him. What the? He ate the cricket? No, Junior, look at Ken's leg. I don't see anything. <laughs> Junior, your stupid, ugly spider bit Ken's leg. Oh, yeah, he did. Look at that. How's he bleeding? He's a dog, dude. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Junior, we have to call a doctor. What if he's poisoned? He's a dog, dude. Yeah, just wipe the Sharpie off. No, J Junior, I don't want Ken to die. I'm going to just say it one more time. He's a dog, dude. I mean, I mean I'd mean, i suck the poison out, but he didn't bite him where I'd want to suck. Okay, look, I'll call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. He's right here. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, Junior, I'm too upset. You tell him. Go. Okay, so, uh, what? His stupid dog got bit by a spider. Yeah, my tarantula bit his doll. Oh, does his little dolly have a boo-boo? Oh, should I kiss it and make it better? Well, he's made of plastic and tarantulas aren't venomous, so I don't really know why you need me here. Yeah, we don't know why you need to be here either, but like, is, is he going to be okay? I mean, he's a doll. But is he going to live? Well, he's not gonna live, because he's never been alive. Thank you! Yeah, but like, ugh, Cody's a little weird, so like, is he gonna be okay? We just need to know if he's gonna be okay. I mean, I don't really see how he's bleeding. Wait, is that Sharpie? You can probably just wash that off. So, Ken's gonna be okay? Yes, he's gonna be fine. Alright, that's all we needed. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Thanks for wasting my day. <laughs> What'd he say? He said Ken's gonna be perfectly fine. Really? Yep. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Wow, how pathetic. Hey, Junior, if your spider ever touches my boyfriend again, I'll eat him. Wait, eat him? I'll eat your spider, so you better get him out of here. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Joseph, can you help me move my spider? Okay, dude. 
All right, Cody, we put the spider in the other room. Good. Me and Ken want to watch TV. It'll help his leg feel better. He's a doll, dude! How many times are you going to say that, Joseph? How many times do I need to say it, Cody? Oh, God, guys, calm down. Let's just watch TV. Breaking news, okay? A sandwich shop is being robbed by a person dressed like the Green Goblin from Spider-Man 1. Police are on their way to the scene right now. Whoa, guys! Footlong Bangers is getting robbed! Dude, that's so cool! Why would you rob a sandwich shop? Wait, where's Ken? Oh, he's probably just in the bathroom. He's a doll, dude! That's getting old, Joseph. Yeah, you're getting old. Too old to be playing with a doll. I'm gonna bite you, Joseph. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Guys, you gotta separate. Joseph, go in the other room. What, I gotta go in the other room? Me? Because your friend is weird? What, guy, Joseph, just go in the other room. Oh, God. <sighs> Give me all your money. This is a robbery. Oh, my goodness. This big-headed green man trying to rob me. I said Prepare to die! Oh! Oh my god, you saved that woman! Oh man, you a hero! You saved my life! You're amazing! Man, Ken's taking forever in the bathroom. I'm gonna go check on him. Okay. What? Ken? Hey, Junior, he's not in the bathroom. Oh, there you are, Ken! Did you wash your hands? Let me smell him. Good. Wait, 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 Cody, did you just toss him in here? What? No. He he's kinda like fell in here. Breaking news, okay? A random superhero with powers like Spider-Man saved the day by stopping the Green Goblin from robbing the sandwich shop. Here's an interview with the witnesses at the scene. Oh, I've never been on TV before. I feel like a movie star. How's my hair, Tyrell? Shut up, woman. I'm trying to promote my mixtape. Yeah, it's called Dogs in the Hood. Yeah, spelled dogs with a Z. Uh, uh, honey, I think they want us to talk about the robbery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in 2012, I robbed a convenience store, and they never found out. <laughs> uh, uh, no, honey, they want us to talk about the robbery that happened today. Uh, none of that stuff was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Spider-Man had, uh, stopped the little green man from robbing this place. Yeah, that, that was true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's like a real-life Spider-Man! No, it's probably just some stupid guy in a Halloween costume trying to get attention. What is the world coming to? I thought it was cool. Hey, you wanted to speak to me, sir? <sighs> yes, guy. Tell me everything you know about this spider person. Uh, well, we don't really know anything about him. Uh, people have started calling him Spider-Man, you know, because he's wearing a Spider-Man costume, which, I mean, I guess he probably got that at any Halloween store. But he does seem to actually have Spider-Man powers, so that's cool. I don't want to hear it, guy. Get me pictures of Spider-Man. With just, just pictures? Yes, pictures! I want to put his picture all over the front of the newspaper and show off how much of a menace he is. Well, he's not a menace, sir. He saved all those people. It's the Green Goblin we should be worried about. The DA's gonna be Green Goblin my nuts if you don't get me pictures of Spider-Man. Now go! Uh, okay, I, I don't see how pictures are gonna help, but fine. <sighs> Who are you, Spider-Man? Ah, well, Junior, me and Ken are getting pretty tired. I think we're gonna go home and hit the hay. Hit the hay? Yeah, you know, like, go to bed. Okay, see you tomorrow. Oh, and be careful on your walk home. There's that Green Goblin guy out there. Junior, those people are just stupid people in Halloween costumes that are probably just, like, making a TikTok or something. Stupid kids in their TikToks all the time. Isn't this romantic, Ken? Just you and me walking home and looking at the stars. Man, give me your wallet! No, oh, no, it's the Green Goblin! Please don't hurt me! I won't hurt you as long as you give me your wallet! Somebody please help me! Spider-Man? Eh, Spider-Man, we meet again. But this time you won't defeat me and my big pair of scissors! Be careful, Spider-Man! Those aren't safety scissors! Hey, my scissors! Uh, how am I gonna get a picture of Spider-Man? No, no, that's for me, Spider-Man! What? Oh my god! It's Spider-Man fighting the Green Goblin! Let me get my phone out! Oh, I gotta get a picture of this! You might have taken my scissors, Spider-Man, but now you're gonna take these hands! Yeah, Unweb me, Spider-Man! Oh my god! Spider-Man, you saved my life! What's that? You want me to kiss you? Okay. Wait a minute. I'd know those lips anywhere. Ken? You're Spider-Man? Or should I say Spider-Ken? That's amazing! You're the amazing Spider-Ken! Oh, this won't be the last time you see me, Spider-Ken! 
Uh, sir? What do you want, guy? This better be good. Uh, I have some pictures of Spider-Man you might like to see. All right, then hand them over. Oh my god, Gary, these are incredible! Thank you, sir. I want these to be on the news and the front page of every newspaper immediately! Junior! Junior! Ken is Spider-Man! Or should I say, Spider-Ken! Just because you bought Ken a Spider-Man outfit doesn't mean he's Spider-Man. No, he really is Spider-Man! He saved me from the Green Goblin! Cody, nobody likes a liar! Huh? What, what was that? Oh, I'm just practicing for when breaking news comes on TV. Huh? No, no, no not yet. Breaking news, okay? This shocking photo reveals the true identity of Spider-Man. And it just so happens to be a Ken doll. Huh. What? Cody, you were telling the truth! Ken is Spider-Man! Or Spider-Ken. Spider-Ken, Spider-Ken, does whatever a spider can. <laughs> Wait, Cody, now that picture was all the news, everyone knows Ken's secret identity. No, I don't think anything bad will come of it. <laughs> Green Goblin! What are you doing here? Well, now that I know your secret identity, I'm gonna mess up your house! Uh, no, get him, Ken! Ooh, your light bill's gonna be atrocious! Oh, I'm leaving your sink on! Your water bill's gonna be high too! Oh no! Well, hurry up, Ken! Oh, he's putting his mask on. Hold on. Ooh, wasting your toilet paper! You didn't even have that much to begin with! Is he gonna go? I, I think he's... Are you good? You ready? Okay! Oh, what are you gonna do, Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, owie! My turn! <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout and down came the me and threw him down the stairs! Ha <laughs> ha! Had enough, Spider Man? Ow! No, Cody, wait! It's me, Joseph! What, Joseph? You are controlling the Green Goblin? But why? Because I hate your stupid doll, but I finally realized I should have been making fun of him all along. Really? You mean it? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude, but I got one more thing to say. What? He's a doll, dude. Huh? <coughs> Joseph? Cody? Yeah? Don't tell Junior. <coughs> no! Wait, what happened? Ken killed the Green Goblin. He did? Yeah, well technically the Green Goblin did it to himself because he was trying to kill Ken with a pair of scissors, which Logan accidentally stabbed me in the hand with in one of the scenes we didn't use. Wait, I did? Yeah, you see that? That's real blood. Go ahead, show the clip. But I have one more thing to say. What? He's a tall dude. Huh? Oh, oof. Yeah, you see it? Uh, I'm sorry. You were supposed to wait for me to throw Ken in the air before you went with the scissors, but no, you just had to stab me right in the hand. I said I was sorry. I can't believe you killed my Green Goblin, dude! But your Green Goblin was about to kill Spider-Ken! Wait, Joseph, you been controlling the Green Goblin? Yeah. And you been controlling Ken? Yeah. That was a really cool video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, so where's, where's Dr. Octopus? Oh, he'll be in the next one, if we do another one. So if you want to see that, leave a comment, because we want to do it. And, and hit the like button. Yeah. And the subscribe button. Uh-huh, and, and hopefully Logan won't stab me in the hand with scissors again. Marvin, guess what came in the mail today? These nuts! My grandparents' ashes. Oh, Wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like, both of them? Yeah, Marvin, they wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, is that their ashes? Yes, Marvin, they died, they were cremated, they wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it, it's weird. Oh, no, Marvin, they love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay. All right, guys, are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah! But, Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. Mm -mm. Ugh. I got it, I got it. My turn. Ugh. Watch this! Oh, uh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? Wh why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. Uh, guys, do you think I broke something? No. no. See, look, guys, it's three against one. So I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken?
book in there? Uh, five dollars. Okay, I'm about to get five dollars. Okay. Oh no! What happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke. Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do. And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. But no, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. All right, guys. Okay, what are we gonna do about this? But what are we gonna do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy hit it last. No, you hit it last. Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm gonna sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we gonna find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. <laughs> what? Oh, Jeffy, oh, come on, Jeffy! Oh. Come on, we needed that. You're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy! No, there wasn't! There were two vases! No, it's so one of a kind price was handed out for generation to generation of my family! Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they friended me. Jeffy gets friend. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friends friend me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy. Sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives. But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, what is Jeffy gonna do? Oh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. You guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase. Jeffy must have taken Ken. Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now. What? No, I'm not going to get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back. But Junior, I need Ken back. Well, look, nothing's going to happen to Ken. But, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll. Yeah, he's a doll. How is he going to hurt a dumb doll? He's not going to hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude. What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me, but this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know, it's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? <laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna open the box now. <clears throat> What? Oh, it's head! <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, wait, there's no more pieces of him in there? No, it's just his head! What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now! What? No! I'm not gonna tell the truth just because you got Ken's head! But Junior, look what he did to him! Oh, look, 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 maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. <laughs> Hello? What, Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. What, what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. What, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room? Along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's. So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. What, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's Double? Well, I did! I love Dave's Doubles! I get them all the time! I don't want to hear you coming home right now, okay? We're going to give you a Spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't want to get grounded! 
Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said. Well, do you think Jeffy's gonna try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes, I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yes. <gasps> <gasps> to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Or Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh, man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. All right, kid, you get my 100 bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. Thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh, well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm-mm, mm, my famous soup is almost ready. Oh, hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined, just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Pee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Pee Pee? What, no, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Pee Pee. What's Chef Pee Pee? <laughs> you killed Chef Pee Pee! Yep, and I'm gonna keep going until you tell the truth. What, no, I want Chef Pee Pee back! Are you gonna tell the truth? Oh, yes, okay, fine! I'll go tell your dad! I'll go tell that you didn't do it! Alright, good. <laughs> oh, man, you got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the soccer ball, and I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother, father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video. Jeffy gets framed, we should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand? Kiss my hand. <sighs> Ow! Now don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again. <sighs> now, which one of you is going to go sweep up grandma and grandpa? <laughs> guys, what do you want to do today? You guys are coming to my violin recital tonight, right? What? Violin recital? Wait, you know how to play the violin? Yeah, listen. Oh, oh, stop it! Oh, oh, you're giving me AIDS! What do you guys think? Oh, that's awful, Cody! Yeah, why can't you play something cool like the drum? Yeah, or like the guitar. Well, it looks kind of like a guitar. But it doesn't sound like a guitar. It sounds like you're running over like a baby kitten. Well, I need you guys to come to my violin recital because you're my best friends. Well, I don't want to go sit through a stupid violin recital all night. I want to play video games or something. Well, but you guys never come to my violin recitals. Look, I, I thought you guys were my best friends. If you don't come to my violin recital tonight, I'm going to assume that you hate me and you don't want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> Okay, we'll be there. Dude, I don't want to go to a stupid violin recital. Me either, but Cody said he will not be our friend anymore. Are we, though? Are we his friend? Well, look, I don't want to look for another friend, and he's our smart friend, and we, he helps us cheat on tests at school, so we need him. I guess so. Ooh, I got an idea. What if I get grounded by my dad so that I can't go tonight? And uh, I'll blame it on my dad. I'll say, I can't go. I'm grounded. How are you going to get grounded by tonight? Ooh, I know. I'm going to break my dad's TV. He loves watching TV. He'll instantly ground me for like a month. Oh man, I can't wait to watch TV. Wait, where did my TV go? Junior! Uh, dude, what are you about to do? I'm about to slide down the stairs on my dad's TV. Uh, dude, you think this is a good idea? Yeah, it's gonna get me grounded. I am not going to that violin recital, so push me. Okay. Junior, where are you? Junior, what are you doing? Wait! Oh man, that was so much fun. I'm totally gonna get grounded for this. Junior, what? You break my TV? Because I want to ride it down the stairs like a skateboard. Are you going to ground me? Ground you? No! Why not? Because I ordered a bigger, better TV yesterday. I'm just mad that I didn't get to ride it down the stairs. You beat me to it. What? How was it? How was it? Was it fun? Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah, it was really fun. Ooh, it's my turn next. Oh, my turn, my turn. What? Oh, I thought that was totally going to get me grounded. Mm. <sighs> Did you get grounded, dude? No. What, why not? Because my dad apparently bought a brand new TV, and he was already going to go down the stairs like a skateboard. So he didn't care if I did it. So how are you going to get grounded now? I don't know. 
Ooh, I know. I can Photoshop a fake report card and say that I got all S and I failed. He would definitely grab me for bad grades, right? Dude, that's a perfect plan. Yeah, I'm gonna go Photoshop a bad report card. All right, Joseph. Check these Fs out. Dude, that looks awesome. It almost looks like your real report card. I know. I only had to change like two of them. The rest of them were already Fs. <laughs> Same. Yeah, so I'm gonna go show this to my dad and he'll definitely ground me for failing, right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Uh, Dad, can I talk to you for a second? What now, Junior? I'm trying to slide down the stairs on my TV! Well look, I want you to see my report card. It's all Fs. What? All Fs? Yep, I have to go to summer school. Are you gonna ground me? What? No, I'm not gonna ground you. I'm glad you're going to summer school. But why? Because I don't want to see you in the house all summer. I need some me time, okay? What? But you're not gonna ground me? No, it looks like you grounded yourself with those grades. Good luck working at McDonald's. Oh, but Dad! Oh, uh. Did that get you granny dude? No, my dad actually wants me to fail to go to summer school. Why? Because he wants the house to himself and he knows I'll be at school all summer. Oh, I guess it's harder to get grounded than it seems. Yeah. Good thing I don't have parents. I could just fake my death so I don't have to go to his violin recital. I wish getting grounded was easier than faking a death. <sighs> oh, uh, I got an idea. My dad loves food and Chef B's cooking right now. If I go mess up Chef B's cooking and my dad can't eat, then he'll definitely ground me. Dinner's ready! Man, oh man, I can't wait to eat some chicken! Hold on, Dad! <sighs> Junior, why did you just spit in my food? Yeah, why did you spit in his food, Junior? Because your cooking sucks, Chef Pee Pee! <sighs> yeah, <sighs> yeah your cooking does suck, Chef Pee Pee! Well, spit in it with me, Junior! <sighs> wait, why are you spitting in my food? I just cooked this! Look, I hate you guys! <laughs> Cook something better next time, then! You're not gonna ground me, Dad? No, I was gonna spit in it if you did it. Look, I spit in his food all the time! <laughs> Oh man, why can't I get grounded? Uh, I give up. You still not grounded, dude? No, I spit in my dad's food, and then he started spitting in it with me. Wow, your family's weird. I know, I feel like I'm never gonna get grounded. I guess I just have to go to that stupid violin recital. Ooh, I have one last option. I can light something on fire in the house. Oh dude, yeah, that'll always work. Yeah, yeah, he'll ground me. As soon as he sees fire, he's gonna be like, Joe, you're, you're grounded! Yeah, that sounds like your dad, dude. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go start, I'm gonna light something on fire. Dad, come in here! Why is there a fire in the kitchen? Because I wanted to roast marshmallows. Are you gonna ground me? Oh my god, you actually remember my birthday! What? Happy birthday to me! Wait, you're not gonna ground me? No, why would I ground you? You're the best son ever! Ah! Happy birthday to me! Ah, I can't believe this! Dude, you're still not grounded? No, my dad saw the fire and thought it was like a birthday candle or something, because today's his birthday! I didn't even know that! Wow, dude, you have some bad luck. Well, you better figure out something, because Cody's violin recital is going to start at any moment! I know! You know what? I'm just going to walk up to my dad and punch him in the face. What? Punch him in the face? Yeah, there's no way my dad can twist that and make it into something good. I'm just going to walk up to him, punch him in the face, he's definitely going to ground me, right? Yeah, he's going to ground you, dude. Okay, I'm going to go punch him really hard in the face. Yeah, punch him, dude, punch him! Hey, Dad! Ow! Oh, Junior, you knocked out my tooth! What, I knocked out your tooth? Yeah, you knocked out my tooth! Oh, are you gonna ground me? Ground you? No! I always wanted to meet the tooth fairy! And I get to make 25 cents! Well, this is the perfect birthday! Well, what, you're not gonna ground me? No! You're the perfect son ever! Why would I ground you? You've been so good to me! Dude, did you punch him in the face? Yeah, and I knocked his tooth out. Oh, you're totally grinded now, dude. No, he didn't ground me because he wants to see the tooth fairy! What? The tooth fairy isn't even real, dude! What? She isn't? Oh, 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 my bad. Ah, this is the worst day ever. First, I can't get grounded. Then I find out the tooth fairy's not real. This is the worst day ever. Like, what can I do to get grounded? Like, I lit stuff on fire. I punched him in the face. I spit in his food. I broke his TV. What else can I do, Joseph? Uh, you can call a bomb threat. What? A bomb threat? Yeah, call a bomb threat. Say your dad has a bomb. Call the police, and he'll totally get arrested. And you'll get grounded, dude. That's a really serious charge. But I really don't want to go to this violin recital. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna yeah. call the cops right now. Yeah, that's my boy. Do it. All right, Joseph. It's ringing. Yo. What? Oh, uh, shoot. Sorry. Uh, uh, see, 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 I have so many jobs. It's just sometimes I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. I I thought this was my private phone, but no, this is actually my cop phone. So hold on. <clears throat> 911. What's your emergency? Oh, you have to come over real quick right now. My dad has a bomb in his room. But he has a bomb? Yeah, like one of those explody things. What? I, I mean, are you sure? How do you know we had a bomb? I heard my dad say in his room, uh, there's a bomb in here. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good reason. You need to come over right now before it blows up. Okay, I, I just, I don't know if I'm qualified. I mean, bombs go boom, and I like my life. I don't know if I want all that. No, well, there's a bomb. Are you going to save him or not? Yeah, okay, I'll be right over. Okay. All right, Joseph, the cops are on their way. There he is. Okay, I'm going to answer the door. Hello? Where's the bomb? What? 
You really think your arm's gonna protect you from a bomb? I don't know, man. I'm not qualified for this. Boom! Ah, don't do that, asshole. How would you like to get scared, huh? There's, there's a spider. Okay, I guess you're not scared of spiders. Not as much as bombs. Okay, well, that makes sense. Look, the bomb's upstairs. Come on. Okay. Oh, man, I can't wait for the Tooth Fairy to bring me some money. All right, police officer in here. Okay, where's the bomb? Junior, why is there a police officer in my room? You'll know soon. Oh, I know what this is. You got me a stripper for my birthday. Oh, that's what's going on. What? No. Okay, so when you said there was a bomb, you meant him. He's the bomb. Like, he's the best dad ever. Isn't he the best son ever? Oh, yeah, he's great. I would never ground this kid. Oh, man, I wish somebody would get me a stripper for my birthday. What? Right? <laughs> no, that's not what's going on. Yeah, now get the stripping. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this, but here we go. <laughs> yeah, I, learned, I love the dirty cops. <laughs> a little more, a little more. Oh, yeah. Oh, please kill me. Dude, did your dad get arrested? No. How did you mess that up? I don't know. Today's just not my day. I'm having the worst luck ever. Hey, guys, are you ready for my violin recital? Uh, dude, I gotta go walk in traffic. No. Well, Junior, are you ready? <sighs> I guess I'll go. Terrific. Come on, let's go. <sighs> you have AIDS now. I know. So, Joseph, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. You want to play a board game? Sure, but all I have is sorry. Oh. Yeah, sorry. It's I, right, dude. Guys, 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 me and Timmy just had a great idea that'll make us rich. Why are you hanging out with Timmy? Uh, uh, uh we were at my house practicing our vocals. Yeah, in his closet. Uh, he's really good with his mouth. Uh, for, for singing, uh, show him. Oh my god, on the spot. Okay, okay. Um, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Whoa, he's actually pretty good for a white boy. So what's your idea? I was thinking we should start a boy band like the Backstreet Boys are in sync. Or One Direction. Wait, Cody, we already started a rock band called Lizard Guts. Lizard Guts. Well, yeah, but that's a rock band. This is a boy band. We like dance and shit. Well, he's right, dude. Boy bands do pull a lot of girls. <gasps> You're telling me I could have a lot of girls all over me? Wait, Junior, aren't you already dating Penelope? Yes, I have a girlfriend, but famous people are allowed to cheat on their girlfriends. Facts. Uh, okay, I didn't know that. Well, I was just gonna do it for the boys. Yeah, me too, the boys, except I'm not gay, though. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, I'll join a boy band, so what's the name of the band gonna be? I was thinking we could call ourselves the Joan Ass Brothers. Ooh, or Instinct. Ooh, ooh, or One Erection. Oh my god, I love that, but what about the Backdoor Boys? Oh, I love that. Backdoor Boys, that's the one. You know what? I'm out. Where did Joe Where are you going? So, Junior, you're gonna join our boy band? Uh. I mean, it's either that or we play Sorry. Sure, I'll join. All right, let's go to the stew. <sighs> All right, guys, come on, let's get to cooking. I thought we were recording a song. What? No, no, Timmy, cooking is what people call making music. Oh, in that case, we should totally make a chicken Alfredo. How about we just make a song, Timmy? Yeah, guys, let's record a song. So every hit song is something that people can relate to. So let's make girls feel good. Oh, yeah, that sounds really hetero. Yeah, Junior, I think it's got to be wicked gay. Ooh, what if it started something like this? You got the key to my heart, you do, you do. Oh, and then the next line could be, I never ever want to lose you, lose you. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, that's good. And then it could be like, I want to lick you where you poo-poo, poo-poo. Oh my god, so hot. Yeah, right? I mean, I, I guess that can be kind of straight. All right, guys, let's record the song. You know what? Let's just record the music video. Let's improv everything. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Yeah. This song goes out to all the single boys in the world. And girls. But mostly boys. <sighs> you got the key to my heart. You do, you do. I never ever want to lose you, lose you. I wouldn't want to live without you, without you. I want to lick you where you do, 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 do. We're the backdoor boys making some noise. Don't need no toys. We're the backdoor boys. Our aim is destroyed. Riding like cowboys. We don't like women. We're the backdoor boys. Pull down your pants like they're full of ants. Yeah, schlong so big, put me in a trance. Yeah. Like a baseball bat at first glance. Damn. Booty so big, gotta be in plant. Damn. Throw that ass back, boy. Make me dance. I felt that with him like we in France. We we. This ain't no ordinary. 
bromance Finish too fast, need another chance You've got the key to my heart You do, you do I never ever want to Lose you, lose you I wouldn't want to live without you, without you I want to lick you where you poo 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 We're the backdoor boys Making some noise Don't need no toys We're the backdoor boys Our anus destroyed Riding like cowboys We don't like women We're the backdoor boys Oh my god, we sound so amazing! Guys, we're gonna be huge. We're gonna be bigger than Justin Bieber! Yes! And Taylor Swift! Whoa, that is where I draw the line, mister. I am a total Swifty. Guys, you don't wanna, you know, re-record the song and just straighten up the vocals? Well, what's wrong with the vocals? They just sound... A little gay. <sighs> Junior, look, this song is gonna have me neck deep in chode, and you're gonna be lapping up muff like a dog drinking water out of a bowl. Oh, that part, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Me too, woof. I guess so. Just release the song. Oh, I already uploaded it. What, do you think everybody in the world has heard it yet? Maybe. Let's go check the news. Okay, guys, let's check the news. Breaking news, okay? A scarecrow is winning an Outstanding Achievement Award for being outstanding in his field. But hey, it's in his genes. Oh, I guess our song was too weird for people to listen to it. But that doesn't make any sense. It was a bop. You know what? Check Yahoo News. Okay. Yahoo News. Oh my god. We made the front cover of Yahoo News. Only the most famous people get on Yahoo News. We're famous. I know, right? I've seen Kim K on there like 12 times. Hold on, guys. My phone's ringing. Hello? Junior, I just saw you on Yahoo News. You're a part of the Backdoor Boys? Well, not like a big part of it. I think I should have been on the left side. Your song is number one. It's huge. Wait, really? Yes, all my friends think you're so hot. Really? Why do you sound so excited, Junior? Well, I, I don't sound excited. I just thought it was kind of cool your friends thought I was hot. You know what? I don't want you being in that boy band anymore if you're doing it to get other girls. Of course I'm doing it to get other girls. Famous people can cheat on their girlfriends. What? Junior, you better not make any more music with that group. Okay, fine. I won't. Sorry, guys. I can't be a part of the homo boys anymore. No, Junior, we need you. We're the backdoor boys. Yeah, three backdoors is way better than two. <sighs> guys, my girlfriend said I can't. Who's at the door? Let's answer it together. Okay. Hello? Hey there, I'm Talon Agent and walking target on my back, Steve Staleberger. What are you doing here? Well, you kids are the back door boys, and I'm the front door man with the front door plan. And a suitcase full of cash. I like the cut of his jib, Junior. He's got a well-cut jib. He is very handsome. Wait, wait, wait. Explain what's going on. Well, the song you boys made is huge, I tell you, huge. So I want to give you $500,000 to make a new song and sign with my record label and become slaves to corporate greed. Well, the thing is, my girlfriend just told me I can't make any more music. Ah, phooey. I guess I'll find a gayer group of kids to give this money to. No, 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 I want the money. We'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. I knew I'd get you with the money. Okay, just give me a few dollars. No, 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 you gotta make the song first. Come on, guys, let's go back to the stew. Okay, guys, let's hurry up and record this song, and can we please make it straight this time? Okay, a little straight, got it. Isn't Penelope gonna be mad? She won't be mad when I show her $500,000 in cash. You're not getting all $500,000. Yeah, we have to split it. She won't be mad when I show her $250,000 in cash. You're not getting half either. We have to split it three ways. I don't know what the number is split three ways. Well, that would come out to us each getting about $166,000. I would only get $166,000? Well, actually, after taxes, it's more like $104,000. You're telling me I'm gonna record this stupid game? song for only $104,000? Junior, that's still pretty good. It's $104,000 more than you would have had otherwise. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll record the song, but only if it's straight. Yeah, we'll make it super straight. So, what should our next song be about? I get one word. Cowboys. Yeehaw! Hey, Cody, why don't you come over here and be my little horsey? <laughs> On my way. Ride it like a horsey, boy. Okay. Ride it like a horsey boy. Okay. Ride it like a horsey boy. Okay. Ride it like a horsey boy. Okay. Get on top. Turn it around. Reverse cowboy. I'm going to town. Like a pig in the mud. I'm rolling around. Swimming in the booty. I hope I don't drown. I want you to be my gay cowboy. Hey,
cowboy Put on a saddle, spank me with a paddle Hit me so hard, make my ass cheeks rattle Hit me harder, daddy, you know I won't tattle Hop on my horse so I can't skedaddle Where you going, baby? The fun just started Don't think that smell is because I just farted You know I'm like Moses cause your cheeks just parted If you leave me, I'll be broken hearted Okay guys, no, I'm done, I wanna leave the band What? Well, come on, Junior, you didn't even sing your part Yeah, you totally choked And not in a good way I just can't do it, I, I can't sing this song, the lyrics are too gay What do you mean? It's not gay, it's about cowboys You literally said smack my ass, make it rattle Well, yeah, I was talking about the horse, you know when you're riding a horse you smack its butt to make it go faster? What about the part where you said, ride it like a horsey boy? I, I was talking to the cowboy and telling him to ride the horsey. What about the part where you literally said, I want you to be my gay cowboy? Oh my god, gay is then happy, like a happy cowboy. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. I meant like straight up homosexual cowboy. See, that's why I want to leave, so I just, I'm just gonna leave. Well, you're not gonna get paid for the song. Well, just pay me from the first song, it was a number one hit. Well, we didn't make any money off the first song. We uploaded it for free on a non-monetized channel. Oh. Well, I guess this chapter of my life is over because I'm done. Oh, well. So should we finish the music video? Well, yeah! <laughs> Ride it like a horsey boy! Ugh. Hey, Junior, we got our cash. Yeah, it's a shame you had to leave the menage a trois, Junior. Yeah, you know, I wish I could have stayed, but I just didn't want to leave a really bad digital footprint out there. Junior, you've said the N-word before. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to pick a path, and I chose that one. I just... Didn't want two bad things out there, so I'm kind of glad I left. What are you going to spend your money on? I'll probably spend it on my Harvard tuition. Ooh, I'm going to buy a pony. Like, a real pony. God damn it, Timmy! Oh my god, that's my father. I need to straighten up. Timmy, what's this pickle-looking shit I heard on the radio? Uh, it's for a school project, father. No sir, Bob. You're one step away from conversion camp there, mister. So you take your Fruity Pebble Flintstone ass on home and yabba dabba do your homework. Can I at least say bye to my friends first? No! Go home and read your Bible. Leviticus 18.22. Read it over and over and over again and write it a thousand times and put it on the refrigerator. Let me have a word with you kids. Stop trying to turn my son into a homo, okay? Stop trying to make him eat Skittles and taste the rainbow and shit. I don't think your son needs any help. Stop it. Zip it. Knock it off, okay? Well, we were making money off this song. I don't care about your chump change. And also, why is my hungry, hungry hippo sticky? What? Leave him alone. C can I? Can I have Timmy's half of the money since his dad didn't want it? Sure, I don't give a fuck. Hey, Nanny, can you help me build my Discovery Solar Robot? How long is that gonna take, Jeffy? Not long at all, because it's 197 easy build pieces. 197 pieces? Come on, Marvin, just help him out. It's gonna take forever, baby! But it says easy build. Yeah, Danny, it's so easy an eight-year-old can do it. See, it says ages eight plus. No, Jeffy, I think that's how many hours it's gonna take to build, eight plus. No, Danny, look how many pieces. What the hell is this? You gotta break every little individual piece? That's gonna take a whole day by itself. Daddy, that's light work. It's not light work. It's gonna take forever, Jeffy. No, it won't, Daddy. Look at the instructions. What? This is like hieroglyphics. I'm not a scientist. I can't read this, Jeffy. Look, how about we just play with something else, Jeffy? Like, you can go play with something fun. Okay, Daddy. I guess I'll just play with matches. No, 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 Jeffy. <laughs> hey! Where fire go? I blew it out. You're not gonna play with matches, Jeffy. But where fire go? I blew it out. Where fire go when you blow it out? It disappears. But where does it go? It goes back to the sun. That's that's where fire comes from. Why? Uh, Jeffy, just go take a bath. <sighs> okay, Daddy. I'm never gonna build that. It would take forever. Time for me to turn on the bath. Wait, wait, what the? What is that? Elephant poop in the bathtub? Daddy! Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? You're supposed to be taking a bath. Well, I was going to, Daddy, but there's six elephant turds in the bathtub. You took a crap in the bathtub, Jeffy! It wasn't me this time! Jeffy, you're supposed to poop in the toilet, not the bathtub. It wasn't me, Daddy! It's the size of elephant poop! Well, Jeffy, you go clean it up, because it's yours. No, Daddy, you have to see it! Come see it! Marvin, just go with him. But, baby, he crapped in the bathtub, and he's just trying to show us to brag about it. Okay, you know what, Jeffy? I'm gonna make you clean it up. Come on. She they look! What, are those potatoes? No, it's elephant poop! Jeffy, that's not elephant poop. There's no smell. It looks like they're kind of eggs. How are you getting eggs out of that? Because of the shape of eggs and... I don't know what these are. They look really old. Let me call an egg expert. But pick them up and bring them to the couch. All right, daddy. Hey there, somebody call an egg expert? I expected that to get more of a laugh. <laughs> Now you're just exaggerating. 
Now I'm just egging you on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's get started. What do you got for me? So we found these in our bathtub, but we don't know what they are. Hmm. Well, at a glance, they look like dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Or they could be bombs! Bombs? Yeah, you can never be too careful. Okay, everybody duck! Frag grenade, out! Huh. Not a bomb. Well, I guess I know what these are now. Dinosaur eggs? Exactly. They were in my bathtub. Yeah, well, dinosaur eggs are extremely rare because dinosaurs are extinct. So destroying or disturbing these eggs is a serious felony. You can get a lot of time in prison. Didn't you just throw one out the window? Hey, that was for science. I had to make sure these weren't bombs. Why would these be bombs? Well, you never know what those crazy terrorists are planning. One minute you think it's a dinosaur egg and then you try to grab it and then bam, your hand ends up looking like Jason Pierre Paul's. Well, where would dinosaur eggs even come from? Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Let's let's really think about that. They're they're dinosaur eggs, so they probably would have come from dinosaurs. Huh, how about that? Context clues as fuck. But, like, but where would a dinosaur even be at? Mervin, we have a pet dinosaur. We do have a pet dinosaur. Jeffy, go grab your pet dinosaur. All right, Donnie. You forgot you had a pet dinosaur? Well, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, Donnie, there's Booger. <laughs> All right, so that's our dinosaur named Booger. Oh, don't say that name. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Jesus Christ. It's me, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Hi. Did you miss me? Not really. Who are you talking to? I have an imaginary friend named Booger, and whenever you said that name, he thought you were summoning him, so now he won't get the hell out of my ear. Hey, who's these people? They mess with you? No, they're not. You want me to ruffle them up? No, you don't have to do that. They're fine. Okay, good, because you're the man. I know. They should know that, too. No. You're the guy. Yeah, I you're understand. the best. Yeah, you're okay. awesome. I get it. You're the uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ, Booger. Just let me do my job. Oh, you're doing your job? You want me to help you? No, Let's I don't. Pee your pants, I didn't Jack. pee my pants. Hey, you didn't pee your pants. Good job, buddy. Uh, you know, That's seven days free. Uh, yeah, okay. Pee your pants, the man. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, Booger. Hey, you know what you can do for me? You can get me some tissues for all my boogers. Oh, you got some boogers? Let no, me, I don't. Check get get out of my nose, there. Booger. Hey, no boogers up there, but there's a booger right here. Could you just get the tissues, please, Booger? Yeah, I'll be right. Holy shit. Okay, can we please make this quick before he comes back? You see that dinosaur right there? That dinosaur laid these eggs. It's a girl dinosaur. Congratulations. But I thought Booger was a boy. Nope, it's a girl. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant? Well, you know, another dinosaur had to... <laughs> Thank you, Booger. Okay, look, I helped you with your problem. Just don't destroy these eggs, all right? Take care of them. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, we get an ice cream? Oh, fuck. I can't believe Booger's a girl. But Marvin, who got Booger pregnant? I don't know. We don't know any other dinosaurs. Ooh, my bibs, cow ball, $70. Why do you need $70, Dougie? To get the new Harry Poopers game. There's a new Harry Potter game? Yeah, it's Harry Poopers and the Expedition of Hobbles. You get to see Dumbledoofus. You also get to give a Dobby his sock back, and you get to see Hermione's fire. Okay, well, I thought you played Call of Duty, not Harry Potter. Well, usually I do be playing some Call of Duty, but now I want to play Harry Potter. I want to be on Hufflepuff. Have a good day, Bibs. Okay, well, all I have is a... It's $100. Oh, that'll do. Well, I need my change back. Well, if you want some change, then you need to vote for Obama. What? Yeah. Oh, you be collecting some rocks? No, these are dinosaur eggs, Dougie. Dinosaur eggs? Eggs is expensive. Wait a minute. Uh, Dougie, you see that dinosaur over there? Oh, yeah, that got my cousin Pookie. Well, did you and your cousin Pookie, you know, uh, 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 oh, yeah? Uh. Oh, no, man, no, that's my cousin Pookie. She ratchet, she a thot. Well, I thought, I thought Booger, I mean, I, I thought your cousin Pookie was a boy. Nah, I mean, she's so ugly, she could be a boy. But I ain't, I ain't do nothing with her. So these are not your eggs? No, those ain't mine. All right, baby, we really got to protect these eggs. They're very valuable. <laughs> You said they were valuable? Yeah, they are valuable. They're dinosaur eggs. They're worth a lot of money. Well, how much is they worth? I don't know. Thousands? Oh, thousands? Stacks? Mommy, we should sell these right here. But uh, we're not selling them, Dougie. They're going to hatch, and they're, they're, they're like, dinosaurs are extinct, so they're endangered. We'll go, we'll go to jail if we sell these, Dougie. Oh, come on, Mom, Bips. We could get some money. We're not, we'd be really ripped. We're not getting money. Just go buy your Harry Potter game, Dougie. <sighs> okay, Mom, Bips. All right, baby, let's protect these eggs. Hey there, welcome to the black market. Why I gotta be black? Cause of my skin color? No, it's cause it's dark in here. All right, then, as long as it's cause of that. So, you buying or selling? Well, I'm trying to sell me some dinosaur eggs, but I ain't got any. Okay, well, if you did have dinosaur eggs, you could get a lot of money for them, cause dinosaurs are extinct. Well, how much money I be gets? Probably a couple million, cause they're pretty rare. Millions? Like a million badillion? Uh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go steal them and I'll be right back. Okay. 
Marvin, can we go out to eat tonight? No, baby, we have to stay home and sit on these eggs until they hatch. But how do we know they're going to hatch? Because they're eggs, baby, and eggs hatch when... Oh, no! You caught me! Dougie, you put that egg back right now! No, I got to sell it for some money! You're not selling these eggs, Dougie, they're in danger, let it go! But, folk, I need some money! No, you, you put the egg down! No, you no, this is my money! Egg. Give it to me! Oopsie daisy! Dougie, you just killed that egg! Well, if you would've let me have it, then I could've sold it for some money and it would still be alive! Dougie, I'm gonna get in so much trouble, that was illegal what you just did! Well, if you're gonna get in trouble anyway, why don't you just let me have one of the eggs? No, you're not having any more of these eggs! Fine, just keep him. Wait, wait, no, 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 Dougie! Dougie, get back here! Oh, no! Ah, Dougie, you broke another egg! No, you broke the egg by tackling me and makes me drop it! I ain't do nothing wrong! Well, Dougie, just get out of here! Baby, we lost another egg! What? How? Because Mobbips tried pushing me down the stairs because he's mean. No, you were trying to steal the eggs, and now we only have three left. If Broken Guy finds out we lost two of the eggs, we're gonna get arrested! Hey there, just here to check on those eggs and make sure they're not broken. Uh, Why are there three? Because five is a lot to sit on. <laughs> That's what my ex-wife didn't say. Well, look, we needed help sitting on the eggs to help them hatch. So Booger said on two of them. Don't say that name, please. I'm talking about Booger the dinosaur. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Booger. I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, why are you in your cop uniform? You gonna catch some bad guys? Yeah, well, I am a cop, Booger. Oh, you should shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Um, is it happening again? Oh, yeah. I am in hell right now. Oh, Brooklyn guy, great idea. You play good cop, I'll play the bad cop. They can't hear you, Booger. That wouldn't work. Okay, you go first. <sighs> what happened to the other two eggs? What happened to the damn eggs? It doesn't matter if you yell, Booger, they can't hear you. We should arrest them. You know what? That's a good idea. Go get the handcuffs, Booger. Oh, okay, okay. But don't forget, by the time in middle school when you misspelled house in a school spelling bee, H-O-W-S-E. Now, everyone else thought you were wrong, but I thought you was right. It should be spelled that way, because you the man. Uh-huh, thank you. Thank you, Booger. Okay, I'll go get the, those handcuffs. Please, please. But don't forget about that time in high school when you asked how your crush Rebecca Smith oh, and you pooped Rebecca. your pants. Oh. Remember everyone called you stinky, smelly, ugly, stupid Brooklyn guy? Yeah. Not me. I called you the man. Poopy pants the man. Yeah, you did say that. Thank you, Booger. Okay, we don't have long before he gets back. Uh, what happened to the eggs? Oh, because uh, I told you. I told you that the, 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 the dinosaur was sitting on them, and that, that's what's happening. Oh, that's really interesting, because I found one of the eggs broken at the bottom of your stairs, and when I pulled into the driveway, I found the other one broken there next to the one that I broke for science. So so there's two in the driveway? No, you just reused the footage of you throwing the last one, you lazy piece of shit. Well, well I didn't feel like doing it again. I'm tired. Oh, wait, listen, listen. listen. We, got, we got three eggs, and it's not my fault. You know, it's, it's, it's Dougie's fault. Well, it's not my fault. I just really wanted the eggs so I could sell them for a million dollars. Ah, I got those handcuffs, Brooklyn guy. Oh, that's good, because it looks like I'm going to be arresting these people. Wait, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that you were going to sell these eggs for a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, you could be a rich man. The man's man. The manliest man that ever man to man. Huh, I do like the sound of that. Yeah, be do the right thing, Brooklyn guy. Wait, you, we can't sell these for a million dollars against the law. Screw the law. I want to be a millionaire. If we sell these, we can get a million dollars each. I mean, there are three and... There's three of us, so we all have a million dollars. Let's go sell these eggs. All right, let's go sell them. All right, here's the dinosaur egg. Hey, no cops. That's like rule number one in the black market. Well, no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. We're just trying to sell these eggs. So we'll really get a million dollars per egg? Yeah, if these are real dinosaur eggs. No, these are not real dinosaur what? eggs. What are you talking about? You said they were real. They are. Hey, if Brooklyn Guy says they're real, they're real. So, so these are not real. No, no, there's a lot of fake eggs going around. See, there's this kid's toy you can buy at Target. It's the Dig 'em Up Dinosaur Eggs toy. I opened mine already. It's actually really fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think I bought these for Jeffy like a few months ago. I just forgot. Yeah, that'll happen. So we don't get a million dollars per egg? No, sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you have a built version of this thing, I'll give you 10 million. Oh, that's not worth it. I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, go. Hey, you messed me up, Daddy. I was trying to go for forty thousand. You only had eleven. Well, I gotta start somewhere. Yeah, Marvin. Why did you mess him up? Because he got in our face with the boing, boing, boing. I was trying to watch TV. He's being annoying. <sighs> There's someone at the door. Well, I'm gonna go find my ball and start over. Hello? Hi, I'm Steve Stalberger, and I'm representing Geico Insurance. I'm here to give you this check for $10,000 for your son's car accident. Why are you giving us $10,000 for a car accident? Well, his car was totaled, and they valued it at $10,000, so here you go. So, what can I spend this money on? Whatever you want. Uh, okay. For two, for three, 
four, 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 five, four, six, four, seven, four, eight. Baby, baby, baby. Hey, guy, you messed me up again. Baby, we got a $10,000 check. For what? For Jeffy's car accident. When did Jeffy get in a car accident? Remember he hit that tree? So they gave us $10,000 because that's what they value Jeffy's car at. I get $10,000? No, we get $10,000. Marvin, I think we should use that check to get Jeffy a new car. Jeffy does not deserve a new car because he crashed the last one. You're not getting me a new car? You guys suck! So I think we should use this money to go on a vacation to Hawaii. No, Marvin, I'm taking this check right now to get Jeffy a new car. No, 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 but, but, but Hawaii. Okay, let me try this. One, two, three. Marvin, you gotta come outside and see this car. Baby, you ruined it. I was going for 40,000. I was so close. <sighs> okay, Marvin, this is the car I got Jeffy. Wait, you got him a convertible? Yeah, Marvin, I thought it'd be nice during the summer for him to put the top down and go to the beach. He's not supposed to drive to the beach, baby. I don't even trust him to go to school. This car is supposed to drive to school and come right back. That's it. Marvin, he's 18 years old. Let him have some fun. He has the brain of a five-year-old. Marvin, what if he takes a girl out on a date? <laughs> Look, that's gonna happen. Marvin! Look, just put the top up, and we're not gonna tell him the top can go down. Fine. Jeffy, get in here. Hey! Jeffy, there's a surprise outside. Come on. Okay. All right, Jeffy. Here's your new car. You got me a new car? It's a PT Cruiser. A PP Cruiser? Hoes are going to be cruising on my PP when they see this bad bitch. Jeffy, language. Now, Jeffy, here's the two rules, okay? Do not wreck this car. If you wreck this car, you're not getting another one. And do not spray paint it. Okay, don't spray paint it. Got it. <laughs> And done! The Jeffy Ho Wagon 2.0, aka the PP Cruiser, is done! I know I said I wouldn't spray paint it, but I don't give a shit. Now let's go get some hose! Alright, let's crank this baby up! Ah, listen to that baby purr! Oh, what's this button do? Wow, the top can come off? That means hose tops are gonna come off when they see this car. When I drive by, they'll just be able to jump right in. So let's go get some hose, yeah. Okay, Simmons, this power line fell down during a storm and now it's a hazard, so we need to move it. All right, well, let's move it. Wait, 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 Simmons, Simmons, no! Uh, Simmons, are you okay? Uh, what happened? You got electrocuted, Simmons. It's a power line. Oh, I guess that's what the power word means in power line. Yeah, so we have to go kill the power so we can move this thing. All right. Oh, man, I love this car so much. It's so awesome. I'm ready for the hose. Hose, where are you? Jeffy's coming. Okay, Simmons, the power's cut, so it should be safe to touch now. Oh, my, you're right. <laughs> Just kidding. Little electrician joke. Uh, shocking. Uh, what's this joker doing? Hey, asshole, get out of the road. We're trying to fix a power line. I'm going to go give him a piece of my mind. Hey, jerk off, you can't park here. Uh, uh, um, sir, you appear to be missing your head. Where to go? Oh, oh, God, no. Oh, my God, how did that happen? Uh, oh, oh, the power line. It, it, it knocked your head off. Uh, jinkies. Tonight. Simmons! 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 Oh my god, Simmons! Simmons, there's a car with the head of the of the power line and I'm getting out of the car! Mate, but... calm down! So what you're saying is the power line decapitated the driver of that car over there? Uh-huh! Well, we turned the power off! How did it do that? Well, the power's not the problem, Simmons! The line was still on the road! Look, I have to get my doctor outfit on! Marvin, do you think Jeffy's enjoying his new car? Well, we haven't heard from him since we gave it to him, so ho, 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 Merry Christmas to me! What? Uh, hey, guys. Doctor, what are you doing here? Uh, well, it's about Jeffy. He was in an accident. He wrecked his car already? Oh, no, the car's fine. Thank God. Marvin, is Jeffy okay? <laughs> well, let's just say I wouldn't lose my head over it, because he already did. What? Oh, maybe this will help me explain. Uh, you, you see this little Lego guy here? This is your son before the accident. And this is your son now. He lost his head? Yep, he was beheaded. Oh beheaded? Really? What happened? Well, as far as I can tell, he was driving his car with the top down, and there was a power line that was hanging too low in the road, and it cut his head off. Why was there a power line hanging too low? I was trying to fix it. It fell down during a storm. Well, did you have any caution tape to warn people? That is a good idea for next time. Wait, did you not put cones in the road to close the road? That is also a good suggestion for next time. Is the power line still hanging low? Yes, it is. Well, what if it happens to someone else? I I think we should focus on your son's beheading and not uh, the other people that could happen to. Wait, is my son dead? Oh, no, no, no. He, he's fine for now. Uh, you see this cooler right here? Yeah, his head's in there. That's how I'm preserving it. Wait, 
He's still alive? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk to him? I can take it out for a minute. I think it'll be fine. He can still talk? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get him. What? Okay, here's Jeffy. Oh, my God, Jeffy! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Daddy. Uh, uh, what doing? He can't talk. No, obviously he can't talk. He's a severed head, idiot. You said he could talk. I was joking. I was just trying to lighten the mood. So what do we do now? Well, now we have to find a body donor so I can take the brain out of this head and put it in a new body. Well, why can't you just put his head on his old body? Well, I couldn't save the head and the body because the cooler's not big enough. So I just decided to save the head because it has the brain in it. The body's still sitting in the car and the heated seats are on, so it's pretty much toast by now. But to be honest, I don't even need the head. I really just need the brain, so get that out of there. Okay, there it is. Just toss that in the cooler. Oh, man, I forgot my sandwich is in there. Hold on. It's a Toiki club. That's what Toikis sound like. Screw the sandwich! How long is the brain gonna be okay on ice? It'll be fine for a while, but the ice is melting, so we should probably put it in the freezer. Okay, well, I have a freezer. Okay, well, let me get the brain back out of there. Okay. <laughs> hey, Marvin, go along. Well, it was a pizza. Is that a brain? Why would you throw it? I told you to go long. You didn't go long. Well, we have to get the brain. Hurry. Chef did you see a brain? Yeah, it went that way. Outside. Uh, do you see the brain anywhere? I don't know, man. It could be anywhere. Wait, look, it's right there. Oh, okay, I'll get it. Wait, 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 wait. Look, there's a car coming. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Oh, 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 shit. It's okay. Uh, it got run over. Uh, Grab it, grab it! Okay. Uh, Did you guys find the brain? Yeah, but it got run over. Is it okay? Well, there might be some brain damage. But Jeffy already had that. Marvin! And it is pretty dirty, so he might have a dirty mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Can you just try to clean it off? Okay, yeah, good idea. <sighs> I'm blowing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just put it in the freezer? Oh, yeah, 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 I should do that. <laughs> Listen to the sound it makes when I squeeze it. Brain fart. <laughs> Put it in the freezer! Okay, yeah, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get a brain freeze. <laughs> okay, okay, I think I'm all out of brain jokes. So what do we do now? Uh, well, now we have to find a new body for his brain, so let's brainstorm and think of something. <laughs> okay, I guess I did have one more. Oh, man. Can you just shut up? So will any body's body work? Yes, any body's body will work. Not everybody's body, but any body's body as long as they died recently and their body was put on ice. Well, how are we going to find a body that just died and was put on ice? Well, I do have a wife I don't like and an axe. And a cooler. Well, would an animal's body work? Well, you're not getting my body, because I'm an animal. <laughs> a party animal. <laughs> Thank you. That one was not even good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, right. look, the news! Breaking news, okay? Cecilia the seal choked on an eel and died at Seal World today. They have froze her body on ice to preserve her in hopes to bring her back to life in the future. Oh, my God! Cecilia the seal died? I never got to see her, Marvin. Wait, can't we put Jeffy's brain inside that seal's body? Because they, they put the seal on ice. You know how hard it is to break into the morgue at Seal World? It's like trying to break into the White House. It's hard? Well, yeah, the president lives there. They can't just let everybody in. No, I meant Seal World. Oh, well, it's hard to break in there because seals have really soft fur that people sell for a lot of money. That's why people always club them to death and steal their fur. Seals don't have fur. Yes, they do. They ain't slick, Jack. Wait, I thought seals were slippery, like rubber. Oh, yeah? Does 46,500 fibers per Square centimeters sounds slippery to you, Jack. Wait, why do you keep calling me Jack? I don't know. I'm just trying it out. Okay, so you're telling me you can't just walk into Seal World and tell them that you're a vet and say, hey, I want to inspect Cecilia's body, and then you steal it? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could try that. Okay, fine. <clears throat> I gotta go to Seal World to steal Cecilia the Seal so we can seal this deal. But let's be real. Can I really steal Cecilia the Seal? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Okay, I got Cecilia the Seal's body, but it was not easy. I had to be like SEAL Team 6 to get in there. They killed Osama Bin Laden. For real? For real? Stop it. Only I can make SEAL jokes. I'm the real deal. I was just being SEAL-y. <laughs> well, shut up. Wait, what, what's that? Oh, oh, hold on. The Washington Wizards traded Bradley Beal to the, to the, to the Phoenix Suns? Hmm, interesting. Is my shirt teal? No, it's more of an aquamarine or a seafoam green. Can you focus on putting Jeffy's brain inside the seal? Yeah, sure thing. Hold on. Let, let me just peel the scalp back and get a feel for what we're dealing with. Put the brain inside the seal! Okay. Okay, the surgery was a success, so Jeffy should be alive as a seal. Hey, Jeffy. How are you doing? Jeffy? Wake up, Jeffy. Is he okay? Jeffy? Um, 
He's dead. What? Dead? You said the surgery worked! Well, it did, but you see, his brain did get run over by a car. Jeffy's dead forever? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I wasted your time. Wait, time! 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 What, what? What? Look, I have this Apple Watch time machine belt right here. I can go back in time and stop Jeffy from being beheaded! What? So you, you can go back in time and this whole time you didn't tell us? Well, yeah, it's like a monthly subscription. You gotta pay like every time you do it. It's a real pain in the ass. So why are you willing to go back in time and fix this? Well, because I feel bad because it's my fault he got beheaded. I should have put a cone down like you said. Okay, so you can go back in time and stop him from ever getting in that wreck? Yeah, I can, but I gotta warn you, if I do this, you guys are gonna stop existing because this timeline will never have happened. That's so scary! I don't want to fade away. Well, I can take one person with me. I want to go. What about me? Bros before hoes. <laughs> Where, where are we? We're a minute before Jeffy gets beheaded. Look over there. That's me and my partner Simmons working on the power line. Now you go stop Jeffy from driving. I'm gonna go kill my past self so there's not two of me running around. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that Jeffy? Jeffy! Jeffy, stop it! Daddy, what are you doing in your road? You wanna come get hosed with me? Jeffy, you, you spray painted your car, Jeffy! Yeah? I told you not to! Well, Daddy, when are you gonna learn? I don't give a shit. Wait, Jeffy, scoot over. You're grounded. Oh, I'm driving. Man. We're going home. Okay, Simmons, the power is shut off, so no more shockiness. Okay, I'm gonna turn the power back on, and I'm gonna crank the voltage super high, so when my past self pretends to get electrocuted, he really does get electrocuted. Okay, Simmons, the power's cut, so it should be safe to touch now. I know I get it, mate. You're playing a joke on me. Mate? Mate, you alright? Mate? You alright? Mate? Oh no! He doesn't have a pulse! He's dead! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh yes, he died! I'm gonna go cheer Simmons up! <laughs> oh my! Why'd you have to die? Looks like somebody needs a doctor! <gasps> Mate! You're alive! But you just died right there! No, that was just a robot clone of me that I made! Oh, that's brilliant! You think you can make one for me? No, but let's go get some Applebee's! Alright! Marvin? Where'd you go? <sighs> I'm back, baby. Marvin, where did you go? All right, Danny, I did it. You killed my old self? I did. Oh, thank you so much. Shibby! Hey, Danny, want a piece of candy? No. I'll have one, Jeffy. Here you go, Mommy. It's really good. I've already eaten 50 pieces. It's super chewy. Wait, you swallowed this? Yes, I just said I ate 50 pieces. Jeffy, you're not supposed to swallow gum. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with it? You chew it and spit it out. What's the point in that? Well, because it tastes good. Exactly why. I swallowed it. Listen, Jeffy, you're just supposed to chew it and spit it out. That's it. Have I been eating food wrong my whole life? I'm just supposed to chew it up and then spit it out? No, you can swallow food, just not gum. Oh, so I can chew and swallow food, but I have to spit out candy. No, you can swallow candy, just not gum. Life's rules are too hard! Jeffy, you chew gum for the flavor. Yeah, it's like toothpaste. It tastes really good, but you're not supposed to swallow it. Well, I eat a tube of toothpaste every single day. Is that why we're out of toothpaste? Jeffy, you're not supposed to swallow toothpaste. Well, then make me a list of all the things I'm not supposed to swallow. Okay, that's a very long list. Let's make a list of things you can swallow. Only food and that's it. Wait a minute. Is this for fat people? What? So they can chew it and get the sensation of eating food and then they don't have to swallow it and so they don't gain weight? Yes, Jeffy, it's for fat people. That's what gum is for fat people. Well, that's all you had to say. Okay, but baby, he still swallowed 50 pieces of gum. Marvin, should we call the doctor? Oh, no, let's just make sure he can poop. Hey, Jeffy, go to the bathroom and poop. Why would I go to the bathroom when I have a perfectly good pair of shorts I can shit in? Because you're not supposed to poop in your shorts. If you're gonna do that, go to your room. Oh, oh, well, if you send me to my room, I'm gonna shit in my bed. Jeffy, we just cleaned those sheets. And smear it all over the walls. No, Jeffy, just don't go, stay here then. All right, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh. Marvin, are you sure he's gonna be okay? Let's just make sure he can have a bowel movement so that his, you know, they're not obstructed or anything. Okay. Marvin, we haven't heard from Jeffy in days. Do you think he's okay? Baby, he's a kid. He's fine. He's probably at his friend's house making a fort talk and playing a tick night. Hey, dang. Oh my god, Jeffy! Why is your stomach so big? Are you okay? I haven't been able to poop in days. I'm constipated as shit. Baby, the gum, it's probably clogging his colon. What do we do? We have to call a doctor. Tell him I look like a truck driver looking for a lot lizard. Oh, okay. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son's fat from eating gum. Oh no, did he eat that Willy Wonka gum that makes you get all fat and turn blue? 
but it couldn't be that because he's not blue and also Willy Wonka is not real. That was just a movie. You know what? I'll let you talk. He kept chewing and swallowing gum. Well, you're not supposed to swallow it. We told him that, but he'd already swallowed 50 pieces. 50 pieces? Jesus, his intestines must be pink. I mean, pinker than normal because of the gum, because gum is pink. I'll stop. Listen, he looks constipated. Of course he's constipated. He looks like he's about to pop. He's literally full of shit. We're going to have to fish that gum out of his ass like a dog. Okay, well, how much gum do you think's in his ass? I don't know. I just have to take a look with my Doc McStuffins autoscope. Out of my way. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going the other way. All right, let's take a look in that butt. Spread him. All right. All right, let's see what we got going on. <laughs> okay, don't do that. My face is right there. Sorry. Let me just take a look. <laughs> I'm gonna get pink eye, okay? I am literally human centipeding your asshole with my eye, okay? My eye is right there. Stop. Stop. Down. Down, boy. Stop it. Marvin, Marvin, tell him to stop. Jeffy, stop farting. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm backed up. Just try to hold it at least. Stop. stop. I, I, okay, okay, okay. I can see the gum, okay? It, it's all up in there. No, I, you got a tube in your ass? Stop it! Jeffy, stop it! Stop! Okay, okay, now, now, Jeffy, I, I need you to fart as hard as you can when I say go, okay? I'm gonna move my face out of the way, okay? Now go! <laughs> Marvin, look at that ass bubble! Wait, he's blowing a bubble with his ass of gum? Yeah! Okay, well, pop it! What? No, there's enough methane in there to kill a hundred men! Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? I, I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna take it outside and release it. Come with me. Oh, okay, so why do you want me to come out here with you? Check out this noise I can make. <laughs> Isn't that so annoying? It's like a balloon. It's really annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. Stop. Hey, Marvin, five bucks, you let me release this fart in your face. Ew, no. Oh, come on. We're men. This is man stuff. Hey, he farted in my face way more than that. Come on. Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that stink? Oh, my God. I'm so sick. I've never seen anyone throw up that much. Where's my five bucks? Oh, all I actually have is this $2 bill. You said you had a five. Yeah, but I saw it upside down and see it looks kind of like a five still backwards though here Where's my three dollars? Really? How bad do you have it? You bitching over three dollars. Marvin, look while you're away. Jeffy made another fart bubble. Oh, dibs. Come on, Marvin. Let's release it outside. I don't want to release it outside. Wait, I dropped it. What? Oh my god, Marvin, it floats. What? How's it doing that? I guess the methane is so toxic that it makes it float. Oh, huh, well, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, Marvin, we could be billionaires. I have an idea. See, Marvin, there's a helium shortage. Eventually, all the helium's going to run out and there won't be enough for balloons for parties. But we could start a business where we make balloons out of Jeffy's ass. That would be an amazing idea. We would be billionaires. Marvin, no, you can't exploit Jeffy. Oh, shut up. You're a woman. What do you know about business? Why are you always so mean to me? Look, I'll put this in terms you can understand, okay? White bread, cheese, ham, mayonnaise, no crusts, go. No, I'm not making you a sandwich. Marvin, stick up for me. Uh, uh, make mine wheat bread. <laughs> Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Okay, I'm gonna go out and get a business license and print business cards, you know, that say Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated, so so that people know how to find us. You just keep feeding Jeffy gum, okay? Okay. All right, Jeffy, you hungry? Yep. All right, let me get some gum. Okay, I did a lot. Hey, Marvin. Hey, where have you been? It's been hours. I've been tying strings to these bubbles so they don't fly away. Where have I been? I've been in business meetings, making things happen, cashing checks. Cashing checks? Yeah, everybody wants a piece of Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. You actually made a business card? Yeah, I said I would. How else are people supposed to find us? Well, do we even have any orders? Do we even have any orders? Marvin, we already have 2,000 orders due tomorrow. 2,000 orders? Yeah, we got weddings, birthday parties, gay pride parades, gay birthday parties, gay weddings. Well, why are people choosing us? Because of the helium shortage. Nobody else can keep up, and they can't beat our prices. Gum is cheaper than balloons. I guess that makes sense. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Who is this? Oh, no, it's Carl. I meant to call him back, and I forgot. Hey, Carl, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, we're working on that right now. No, Car Carl, Carl, listen to me. Carl, no, there's no way we're going to be able to fulfill that order by the end of next week, buddy. No, I know. I know they're trying to take your house. Yeah, and they want to put you in a nursing home, I know. What, what, there's a talking dog? And a Boy Scout. Maybe you belong in a home, Carl. Sorry about that. That was Carl from Disney Pixar's Up. He needs a million balloons so he can float his house away to a waterfall or some shit. Honestly, there's no way we're going to be able to fulfill that, but he put down a deposit. So that's how we're able to afford the Super Bowl commercial. Super Bowl commercial? Oh, yeah, we got a Super Bowl commercial, I forgot to tell you. Oh, yeah, and I also booked Jeffy for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We need him to blow up SpongeBob with his ass. And Dora the Explorer and Stewie from Family Guy. Wait, I'm getting a text. What's this? Oh, and also Blue from Blue's Clues, so make sure he keeps eating out of that feed bag. Hey, Danny, I got another one. Oh, oh, clip it, clip it, Marvin, clip it. Hold on, I got it, I got it. Ugh, this one's hot off the hole, Marvin. Here, tie this. Okay. What, what? Wow, Marvin, you just wasted good product. I didn't have a good grip. Yeah, well, you need to get a grip. This is money we're talking about. Oh, my God, it smells so bad in here. That's the smell of money, Marvin. You better get used to it. <laughs> 
Who's that? That's one of our customers. Here, give me these. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm here for my balloon order. Here you go, ma'am. Oh my god, thank you so much for getting this to me on such short notice for my 18th birthday. Well, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That'll be $500. Oh my god, I don't have any money. Is there another way I can pay you? Oh. Is your birthday today? Yeah. I think we can work something out. Well, Marvin, another satisfied customer. Well, I was satisfied. Oh, great, where's the money? Um, I kind of gave her those ass balloons for free. Well, not for free. We did work something out. You can't be giving them away for free. Look, doing stuff like this is going to give us good mouth. I, I mean, word of mouth. I mean, she used her mouth. Okay, look, it'll help our reputation, okay? But to be honest, it was pretty mid. I should have just charged her. Yeah, the post-nut clarity is really starting to kick in. Well, while you were down there, we got two more done. Two more? We're going to need a lot more than that. Get to farting, Jeffy. He's farting as fast as he can. No, no, no. When my face was down there, he was going nuts. Also, what's with the only pink? Well, that's the only color we have, bubble gum. Hold on, Marvin. I need you to feed him these gumballs, okay? We need to diversify our colors. We need blue. Boys have birthdays, too. And also, you're going to want to get started on the yellow because we need to get a head start for SpongeBob. All right, Jeffy, you need to eat these colored ones. I eat the blue one. Yeah, here, okay. take this blue one. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. This is a good one. See, Marvin, that's what I'm talking about, colors. Now we're going to start raking in the real cash. Daddy, my butthole hurt. Jeffy, just keep eating the gum. You can take a break in an hour. Breaks? No, no, no. We don't have time for breaks. Okay, we got a bar mitzvah coming up in an hour, and the mom is hot as holy hell. I hope she can't pay. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Hello, Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. You got the cash or ass, and we got the gas. Hi, my son sucked the helium from one of your balloons, and now he's not moving. Oh, uh, well, ma'am, we at Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated do not recommend you suck the gas out, because that, that's not helium, that's methane, so your son's probably dead. Bye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Marvin, we got a problem. Kids are sucking the gas out of the balloons and the dying. But dying? Yeah, but it's okay. It's not our problem. I'll just start printing warning labels. Well, no, it sounds like it's our problem. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, it's probably just another customer. I'll get it. Hello? Mr. Fredrickson wants his balloons. Who the hell is Mr. Fredrickson? Carl. Oh, shit, Carl. What? I already told Carl that I won't be able to give him the balloons for at least another month. He's not happy. He wants a refund. Refund? No, no, no. We don't do refunds. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, give him this. Tell him it'll at least lift his house a few inches. Maybe a door or two. Okay. <sighs> Who was at the door? It was one of Carl's goons. He wants his balloons and he's pissed. Well, how many more balloons do we owe him? We owe him 999,000 more. How are we going to do that? I don't know, but we better do it or else he's going to want a refund and we won't be able to pay for our Super Bowl commercial. We did not need a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, well, I'm starting to agree with that, but I already spent the money on this suit and these Armani glasses that are taped to my head because they didn't fit. So you better start farting, Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, I can't do it anymore. I'm so tired. Tired? No, no, no. You better put that butthole into overdrive, mister. I'm gonna hop on you like hop on pop, get you to fart. <clears throat> Come on, fart. <clears throat> fart, boy. I think I got one coming. <laughs> Come on, speak to me, boy. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> No, no, Marvin, Marvin, the machine is broken. He's tapped out. We gotta start eating gum, come on. Well, no, I'm not gonna eat gum, it's dangerous. We have to. Who's that? Oh no, God, I hope that's not Carl. Hello? Hey there, I'm looking for Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. That's us. Great, you're being sued for the death of Carl Fredrickson, a kid named Russell, a dog named Doug, and a snipe named Kevin. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Carl Fredrickson purchased balloons from Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. He then took those balloons inside his house, which he then lit a match, and it caused the balloons to ignite, exploding his house. So now, Disney and Pixar is making a movie called Down. Oh, uh, well, 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 on the card, it shows him farting into the balloons, so the methane is implied. They really should have known better. Yes, but there's no warning on the back, only your phone number written in invisible ink. Yeah, that's the only pen I had. I buy my pens from National Treasure Nicholas Cage. Well, that's great, because I have a court order here shutting this shit down, and it was printed with invisible ink, so get your lemon juice and your hair dried and figure that shit out. Well, how much are we being sued for? Everything. Okay. Well, Marvin, it's over. What do you mean? We're getting sued. How? Well, read it. It's blank. Oh yeah, it's written in invisible ink. Basically, we're getting sued because people were dying using our balloons. I told you that was gonna be our problem. Yeah, you did. Well, we still had a good run. I almost fulfilled my dream of having the world's most successful ass-based balloon business. And I got sucked off so many times. What? Nothing, but we're gonna have to file for bankruptcy. But that's okay, they can't sue us personally. That's why I made a business. You know, you know, just gonna shut that shit down. That'll be fine, we're protected. You know what, I, I actually am going to take some balloons with me for the road because, you know, people forgot my birthday this week.